Just say, say hello to the in say right. hello to the well, internet people. Welcome everyone. Greetings. Welcome to another week of a shadow run. I wish it was good, but I find it problematic. The uh the whole using an angle to flash in the environment. Confusing the stark difference between lit areas and unlit areas it makes it seem like there are walls that aren't there, and that uh, I don't think it was helping. So I've just removed the dominant one completely and assumed that we have some kind of visual optical enhancement system. So if you can't see, keep that in mind, but um, if there's enough of you with. Uh, Okay, so um, on the roof, he's just disabled the turret system. Uh, um, our adversaries are walking around are here and here. There's one in the main one who is not walking around over here. There's another guy down. And finally, of course, there is the getting around the door. <coughs> we don't know what's inside, although we have scryed inside to see the aquarium, but we don't know if they have any sort of internal defences or anything. Um, I won't even speculate to as to what they might have death robots. Um, but here we are. We've scaled up a cliff. The uh, Percival is behind us. Um, Yes, from here it's time for us to uh, enact our next step of our plan. Um, since I doored into the uh, the island's node, um, am I able to see what other grasses are, are wired into to it? And um, do the appropriate check, which I um, guess is computer from logic, but maybe it's a hacking check. Uh, I think matrix perception is computer. I guess it, but it's all You're in, so you're able to access the uh, internal um, systems, and you can see that logically there are some cameras on the inside. Uh, um, monitor it monitors things like air quality. Um, it monitors the aquarium and makes sure that the temperature of the aquarium is good, just like the uh, the climate control of the, of the building is good. It doesn't monitor life systems, um, although you're already able to um, see through the visuals of other of other guards. Um, what else would it monitor? Um, link. Um, the computer and. Um, it looks like that they have files that they add and that they remove from time to time, a whole bunch of different games. But the key here is that this is... Um, they have matrix capabilities computer, but they tend to leave them switched off like an isolated system. But it is um, what we call Wi-Fi to external devices. So the the wire connected to the mainframe, but the goggles are um, enabled and connected to the mainframe. Is offline, but could be placed online as through the use of a physical switch. 
Okay, so that is currently being streamed off, but chose to do so they could. That's exactly right, yeah. And they'd have a physical switch. Um, no doubt um, some matrix device. are... Um, Air devices or... Uh, yeah. Like... yeah. Okay. Probably, well, the, yeah, probably the central node, yeah. yeah. Oh, they've got to turn um, the router on. Ex exactly right. And Matrix Wiz like, could probably figure out a way to circuit that so that the switch is on without actually having to do it physically. But um, it's, it would not be as simple as just hacking into the system. It would require really getting into the, uh, the electronics of the node. And um, and rewiring things uh, electronically or physically. Okay. Anyway, um, um, the temperature is a is a comfortable um, fifteen degrees Celsius, which is relatively chilly, uh, but it's a sleeping temperature for those of you who don't know Celsius. Are uh, are there cameras inside the building? There are, there are, and I will take you over so that you can make your way through the various rooms. Um, um, so right. there's only the one building, isn't there? Which is- There is only And would you like to just link the um, the feed to the other players? Like what yeah, you see? Absolutely. Yeah, Yeah, cool. In that case, I'll just turn off dynamic lighting for now. Um, and then I'll take you over there so that you can see what things are like without the lighting on. And um, then I'll reinforce the lighting when you come through. All right, so that should be good. There we go. If there's any questions, I'm happy to address them. The red dragon thing, that's just a carpet? That's right, that's a nice carpet. With a community. Oh, there's a red dragon in that room? Computer terminal in the corner. Yeah, that's Probably our node. Which is, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's that's our. I call them mainframe, I call them them, but um, they're central system nodes. That's a mainframe. Um, so there's a snake. In the corner room, that's not the snake. <laughs> large snake, um, probably about ten meters long. Uh, probably weighs about four, about nine hundred pounds. It's this huge, phenomenally large um, boa constrictor or something, Burmese python. So is it like in a? No, it's not. It's it's free. In strangely enough, doesn't have it. Doesn't have a. But it's just a a snake that has just maybe maybe it snuck in. Is there a and door? And that's a drone the beside it. There, um, Japanese style sliding paper yeah, doors. Yeah. Uh, this is a drone. Uh, those drones will recognise a Doberman. This is a real Doberman. A German Shepherd, anyway. Um, so <laughs> the, the stripe in the middle of the target. That's coral. Oh yeah, that's sorry. Yeah, that's the snake. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're just coral. So a couple of sharks, a whole bunch of other fish that obviously don't need to be put down, and um, some brain corals, all, all sorts so of that, That's the politician in bed with... Some... You could make a perception check or something to identify the nature of the people. Um, if, if you, I guess perception is the right... Scrutiny? Is there a scrutiny skill? No. Uh, I've, I've thrown a perception check in the one. Scrutiny is an aspect of... I'm also perception. making a perception. Cool, cool. Okay, that's, well, that's good then. I got five yeah. successes. All right, Ricochet. This beautiful bond that this um, Asian man is in bed with isn't human. Um, or elf or troll. It looks like an android. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um, top right room. Are those people or like androids? I 
They are people, uh, and they're the only people who are aware of preparing food. Yep, that's what I thought, yep. The guys who are sleeping, they just look like bodyguards? Bodyguards, they have guys beside their bed. Same goggle. Like the other guys, presumably, when the other fellas come off shift, they'll start their shifts. Is there only one floor? It's only one floor, that's right. It's so there is on duty and only two rest. Yeah, that's right. That is amphetamines. amphetamines. Either that or they have off-site barracks for more. Um, I'm going to get some amphetamines. The, the yellow lines, are they windows? They are windows, and so you can see the... the, the yeah. Okay. Probably um, let out the smoke from cooking something. Like and this is north upwards? Yeah, it might as well be. I, I, yeah, it is. I, I'm getting those. Do anything front. else? Those are the front, front doors there, I'm guessing. Mm. Sliding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And um, and your characters are up in this direction, right? Uh, up in this direction right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, uh, Godfather like opens up Team Comms. He says, "This uh, Shade sets up a sniper perch on the uh, from the exterior guards while the remainder of the team." from the uh, east side of the... Uh... So are you patched into their tech network as well, Godfather? Uh, you can maybe. see through their visuals. I, I think we have a set of their... Or, or maybe Andre is, because of their, their side or eyes, or their goggles, rather, the right terminology. Goggles basically give an overview of what seeing so i don't know if that answers your question yeah no. can we tell from that they have graphic anything like that on they have low light and image magnification uh, okay. uh, in that case i is time the vehicle and climb the embankment all right yeah good job Fine. His roto drone up along after them. All right. Well, Andre has subdued this enemy over, I think, here. So, um, so yeah, the eastern path is pretty clear. Um, although our drone uh, will. We'll, we'll, well, we'll show us that it's not, not complete. All right. So um, if we have a plan, I guess someone designate yourself as this particular plan, this thing, and uh, start telling me what we do. I guess either Godfather or someone who has visuals on everyone, the comms and stuff. Um, so based on what I'm seeing, the best way to approach would be to take out the two guys out front if we didn't get noticed. So, uh, we may want to put, put some shades up on the rooftop with a sniper rifle. Uh, that does essentially put them at the highest point. On yeah, that's right. The highest point on the island. That's right. Because if, if the guards... Uh... If every guard sees what every other guard sees, if all the guards sort of start moving around, sort of start bobbing about, won't, won't the others get suspicious? It's likely. Uh, you, know, you might take yeah, a five minutes to take a shift. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sorry. We've already right. attached one camera to a tree or something, so it just looks like he's standing there, but if like three guards suddenly start moving about and just stay stationary. To basically drop as many as possible before some one of them realizes what's going on and uh, sounds an alarm. Wait, I mean, uh, I'm not very good at this yeah. technology. Can't you like do some tech stuff to like send fake? Can't you just like loop recordings? Send that to like the rest of them? 
theoretically, but it's not my specialty. Um, that is something I can try, though. I mean, simple solution. I can put on a set of the goggles and keep the patrol going. Yeah, but there's two of them up, up I here. I mean, that'll that'll help with the first one anyway. And one on a walk. Uh, oh, if you can do one, uh, mm. you could just have them not notice us. Uh, that that would work as well. Yeah, just kind of keep his goggles aimed away. Uh, you want to do that to the further away. Uh, ricochet drops. Actually, do it to the one off front while Ricochet drops the one off to the west. And mm -hmm. uh, takes his goggles. Yeah. Yep. So I'm the one that's currently nearest the boat? Yep. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to... And... Over to these, I'm guessing that's some kind of shrubbery on the, the northwest corner. Yeah, if it looks like foliage, then it is some kind of something. Yep. Oh, man, go ahead and make your move. Uh, um, just double checking, you want me to make him just not look in our direction? Yeah, just turn away and mm -hmm. look at the forest or something and yeah. not pay attention. Okay. Is Ricochet, is that sneaking that you're doing? Yes. Or on that perception check. And uh, you'll manage to get yourself into position. I will go back to Omen. What were you doing, Omen? Uh, I'm going to cast Control Thor in front of the house. Um, it's a dice pool of 14. So I guess it's a 14 D6. Versus his will and intuition. Train. Um, Is that control? Yeah. I guess I think it was. Uh, control thoughts. Control thoughts. Strange, strange. Versus the targets. His mind. Did action. Spread actions of It doesn't say. You might have to look at what manipulation skills are resisted by then. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting it now. Cool. Resistrain. I think it's no sort of. I think it's just yeah. power, but. In just, just will? I think. Not will like... times two? Nah, generally speaking, I think it's just will, but I'm just finding the do do do. Logic plus will. Logic and will. Yeah, I'm gonna write all these. It, it's it's almost always two two numbers, even if it's two two attributes. That's what I found at least. So right. uh, yeah, some things are only single. That's true though. That's true, and and so we will have to keep checking. Um, he gets three successes versus what your how many did you say you got? Six successes, but. But that was 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 that on the spell roll or the drain roll? The spell roll. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite a glitch. Um, you succeed by three, which I think means you control separate actions or issue as a group. Uh, he, has to, he has to sustain this. Oh, and so it's three actions, but that drive down this hall, you see a gas station, right? And as long as the spell is sustained, that's only one action. Is that correct? Um, yeah, if he realizes he passed on him and tries to resist it, uh, like he makes a test, like a, but with a big penalty, and every right. hit he gets on that reduces the net hits. Right, okay. Yep. So okay. He, on his yep. action, he can take a complex action, logic plus willpower test, but he has a dice pool penalty equal to the spells. Is that done automatically, or is it only done if he gets suspicious? Um, if he gets suspicious, that's what they I can thought. Roll, to make a test roll, to realize, can... based on him. Good. Yeah, they can roll to notice the magical effect. Using All right. Giving magic. So I guess you get a single command for now. I know you've got three commands, and you've got the single. Is that correct? And you give him one single so, command. So 
the yeah. net hits every time yeah. he gets success on that resistance check, he reduces the net hits by that many, and when it gets to zero, that's when the spell will end. Right. Three and hits, so you get three net hits, so he will still not only need to have a reason to shake it off, but he's going to need to um, attempt to shake it off as well. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so what, hits, yeah. Hard just to shake off, yeah. All right. And it's this guy at the main front door, right? Yes, that's the guy. All right. Um, so uh, slightly higher dots. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter anyway. Okay. Okay. Kinet, what is your command? Um, I'm going to suggest he really needs to take a shit behind the building and take a shit. All so right. Yeah. You yeah, suggest he really needs to take a shit. He is not going to hide behind the building. He is a civilized Japanese man. It's the fucking toilet. Okay. And so I could suggest um, he should go take a shit inside the. <laughs> How about take just a shit in take the woods. Just go behind the building. You, just, you someone might be waiting. Like, That's right. Because it's control thoughts, not control actions, right? Yeah, control thoughts. All right. Yeah. He thinks That's he needs to take a poo. He is not the that shits on anyone. He is not who this fellow is. And so he um, goes up to the door, accesses the maglock key, and prepares to go inside. But, but while he's doing that, I need to resist the strain. Um, force. Um, uh, uh, character's name is what? I can't. Yeah, if you if you can put it in cliche, if you can change your name in roll twenty, that can be helpful. But um, I, I'll I should remember sooner or later. All right, so Ricochet, you've snuck up to the position you want to be in. Uh, these are under the first couple of rounds, so if you want to judge, work out what your movement is over three rounds, go ahead. But I'm not that concerned about it. Yeah, position yourself where you have snuck to. All right. Okay, cool. So Ricochet is in position. The um, front household guard is, is distracted. Um, some information comes over the com links in Japanese. Uh, which is something like, I need to take a shit. Nobody argues with him. And, uh, yeah. Um, questions. I just occurred to me since I'm like backdoored into the node, would it be possible for me to just kill the uh, link between all the uh, goggles? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to prepare to do that, but wait it for a minute or two. Uh, sorry. Okay. All right. Things are going swimming. All right, so I'm going to, when this guard moves past, I will. Or stun button him. I think shooting's probably going to be better. You're a... Oh, you got a call. Yeah. Your work was uh, more efficient. You notice that the guards have stopped their regular patrols. Waiting on uh, what's his name? I'm, uh, finished up in there and back outside. Did you cut the link between the goggles? I didn't. Hear uh, he prepared to do it, but he, he's to? holding on a minute or two. Cool. The guards start walking again after. Got yeah. a kill switch prepped. Basically. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if I needed to make a roll. For... Yeah, yeah. Do you still want me to bring him outside the bathroom? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Just bring him over outside. I'll take care of it. So he'll. he'll... I said, yeah. To, hit to, yeah. The, to the spell. Yeah. Okay. And you're losing. You're losing two dice as. The state. Okay. Um, I'll tell him to, uh, he thinks he hears a sound, uh, no, he'll go down to the beach. He had, how long do you want him to finish at the toilet? Because this guy's still in the toilet for now. Like, he's gotten his newspaper, he, he's taking a shit. And, and he's having trouble because he probably didn't have to actually go <laughs> exactly to the Exactly right. <laughs> That's right. So this uh, might take a while if this is still your plan. Tell him maybe he doesn't need to take a shit after all. <coughs> this this guard that's where is he facing? Well, he's currently moving. So like um All right, sweet. Oh. Okay. Just come up behind him. And Oh all right, no worries. So maybe yeah, as you leave the cover of the foliage and try I would to... like to spend the edge on that. Yeah, go ahead. He is a single success, so you have um, your three net successes. I guess simply mean a success, but they might mean something else. It means that he does not know I'm here, which is that's all right. It's just net hits doesn't matter in this instance, except for flavor. I don't think. All right, cool. Um, and now it's time to stun button him, I guess. Uh... So he gets no, what sort of defense does he not get? Um, basically, he can't take the... Yeah. He needed a dodge, just... Dodge. Yeah. yeah. And, just, and, and I, I don't... So I sometimes forget it. So is dodge an a to take, or is it just... Reaction plus happens? intuition. Reaction and intuition, yeah, sure. In fourth edition, I'm sure. Yeah, it and was. And it was like the skill that no one ever took, because... They didn't know they had dodge. Yeah, and you had to like spend an action to use it, I think, as well. Right. Yeah, it lost like five of your initiative or something. By dodging um, or something. No, I think it just took your action. Right. You, okay, you so in any case, it's said it in advance, I think. Yeah. Was it reaction intuition as dodge? Yeah. Yeah, but or, if you uh, don't see the attack coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this is good. This is uh, this refresher course is working. All right, so you are right behind him, Ricochet. You've got an uh, an excellent target. Um, how's the execution unfold? Five successes. Five successes. Uh, he resists with his armor. I said what armor they have. Was it um, armor vests? Armor yeah. vests, which Thanks is an so. armor of nine. Armor have of nine. Five on this stun button. So it'll be five. So, Five then plus his body. body. Yeah. Yeah. Body plus four. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. And yeah, your uh, hit or net hits to the damage of your weapon. Yes. Brilliant. With eight dice to resist, he gets two successes, reducing the damage. So I had fourteen, so he's taking damage. Fuck, he is out. And I will quickly scoop up his goggles, put them on. Um. Without looking at him. All right. Um, to sort of make it look like he stumbled. Basically, that's a bit tricky. What sort of skill will you use? Some kind of um, um ability. Uh, it could just oh, be a calming. Calming's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, something like that, and I almost certainly yeah. don't have it. So it'll just be an. And default, so an agility negative. You can't default. Oh, well, in this case, you can. Uh, no, what skill is he talking about? Because could you use impersonation? 
not really impersonation. It's just it's a delicate touch. So they if, if skill just default to agility. Yeah, I was just having a quick look to see if I had anything. But I'm sure. Better, but um, I do not. So you know what? I think I'm going to spend edge on this as well. All right. Holy okay. shit. Okay. And the um, the various um have no reason to suspect anything's wrong and uh, do they but they send you through a message in japanese. You understand japanese no all right well they ask you a question in japanese i don't respond just just respond yes or no in japanese randomly yeah except i don't know, except i don't know yes or no in japanese i mean you have like advice like you can Google Translate uh, that. If I'm LinkedIn, I have a translator soft for Japanese. You can see, I've been looking all over to try and get. Where are they? Uh, it's called a lingua soft. Yeah, but I thought that was just for drones to understand a different language. Uh, yeah, you, you put it into anything and it can understand a language. Ah, see, because that was a thing in fourth ed, and I've been looking all over it in fifth ed, and all the things I found said that they're not really used that way anymore. So you're LinkedIn, Godfather. You can hear them say, "Are you okay, Hero? Hero, you are you okay, Hero?" <laughs> uh, assuming Godfather can like enter, uh, assuming he can pretend to do be you have, a hero. Do you have any sort of um, device to do so? Do you? Because like Andre's got one, one of these com links, and um, um, naturally Rickish have any way or you, you're just kind of hacked in through a node i'm not sure what's modulator are they asking it verbally they are asking it verbally i'll pretend i have a coughing fit and i'll um... all right that works <laughs> all right make a deception check is there a deception skill con Coughs con perfectly so you're uh, coughing in japanese just cough, and that's like a text I mean, Godfather, oh, just tell like the guy what to say. No, no, no. I'm coughing, and so reply in text while I'm coughing. All right. Yeah, that works. That does work. All right. So you'll have plus two on your con check since um, it's a pretty good ruse. Yeah, con. Uh, turn to default charisma. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, or am I... Or... No, it's... it's, it's, it's to do the con, yeah. But he gets plus two dice from you. All right. Uh, I'm still going to fail this so hard, so. I believe. Brilliant. Oh. In, a, in a moment, Andre. Uh, they, it's all systems go right now. How does Neo? Uh, I think it's like uh, basically whenever you take the equivalent of a long rest in D&D or just once per session. Uh, yeah, all right. Cool. Yeah. In that case, I will spend edge. My only chance of succeeding on this. Because sure. It's worth my more die pool fucking total. All right. Three successes is enough. Your coughing fit. Uh, Japanese sends a question to you. Another one of them laughs. I say Japanese, but it's Japs. So I don't even know why I'm saying that. Um, it's the second thing after English. Yeah, and they are speaking in Japanese. Uh, and so we'll call them Japs, even though they're not. Um, okay, so uh, they speak, uh, one of them says something, which you obviously don't understand. One of them laughs, again, which you kind of understand. But um, Godfather, here, yeah, they make a joke. Uh, but it's something like, it seems everybody is getting sick. Uh, I'm sure it was funny in Japanese. <laughs> God, you remember, <laughs> you remember 60 years ago when there was that huge viral outbreak? COVID something? Yeah, <laughs> um, virus. That was when the sixth world started with the great COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, what enabled the mega corporation to rise from the ashes of the old world. Well, acted with their um their joking i will once again without looking at him 
down and grab the guy that I knocked down. Grab his yeah. sword so that I can drag him behind me. Brilliant. He is now your Muppet. All right. So let's switch to Andre briefly. Um, since it was action that got this started, along with Shay. So, Andre, you've um, neutralized. You've hung their goggles from a tree. The illusion of mobility. Um, Shade has neutralized the turret. Um, Omen has convinced the main guard to go and do a poo poo in. <laughs> and ricochet in position and taken out a second of the guard. Almost. Action. Things are going well. Uh, I have also on his headset and resumed his patrol so that the other guard's viewing doesn't see that he's patrolling immediately. Yeah, it doesn't matter which direction they they have fairly random patrols. So um, yeah, the fact that you go it. left when he went right doesn't um, uh, raise their suspicion. All right. Well, the rest of the guards are still fairly mobile and will run into you if you long enough. Like a weird I'm game of hide and seek where everyone can see where everyone else is. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's like, if I look over there, I should be able to see that guard, just like, and that guard suddenly turns and walks the other direction. Oh, he's being tricky! Tricky to that hero. Um, Godfather's gonna send his drone towards the uh, guard on the shore. All right. All uh, right. It's invisible cloak, so I'll only be able to see it. I Pretty see unlikely. I'll I'll give him one list for luck. He got a one. So he is glitching. He finds a nice seashell and looks down. Whoa, I shall give this to the woman I love. <laughs> uh, 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 opens up the comms and he says, I'm going to cut the uh, link fee between them. Uh, everybody make sure you got a target and prepare to drop them. Nine, oh. eight, just I don't before have... he gets to, just before he gets to one, I'm gonna tell my guy that I've got. Uh, it's it's getting so fucking hot trying to take a shit in this bathroom. He's ear off. Or, or yeah, he'll do that. Yeah, At he least does the that. Yeah. Um, yeah, he takes the goggles off. They're one of the first things he takes off. Yeah. And his shirt and his tie and his cuffs and his shoes. Yeah. Done. Um, I don't think I have a target. Are there any other guards in this area? Mm hmm. There's one. Oh, I mean, I would see a. I'm not sure. You would probably see a flashlight from down here. Uh, facing it, upwards to you. In this sort of direction? Yeah, that's right. I keep trying to click it and it's not working. But he's on the exact opposite side of the gray, so it's probably not your problem. Shay, you've got an excellent visual. You'd like to do. Unless said otherwise, uh, I could. Your voice is modulated, but not coming through. Might have a Discord issue, perhaps. Might need to type. Andre has volunteered to go and grab the guy. Uh, um, we, yep, yep, shade. Yeah, I could I can shoot him if you uh should I just start popping off with the 
Yeah, Godfather pinged you and recommended you to start with the guy on the boat. Then maybe the guy uh, there. Oh, right. Shooting him so, with uh, stick and shock rounds. That's the guy on the beach or the yeah. boat? Uh, on the. Yeah. And like, right for he takes the shot, got or the fee between the helmets. All right. I still didn't hear if it was beach or boat. Still be, yeah. I think I heard a B, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but B, 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 B. Yeah. I heard B, like that's B E. So could I think he was going for beach? I think Maybe. he's going for beach. Yeah. All right. I... So the first thing to do is to work out if there's in range and uh, cavalier arms. I'm not sure what sort of gun that is, but I'm going to be very it's confident. A sniper rifle. I thought it was a sniper rifle, so I'm going to be pretty confident that 30 meters or 25 meters is going to be within very short range. He okay. He's... Excellent. He's not aware of you, Shade, so he has no attempt to dodge. Um, it's just a pure hit. If you look at the, your roll, however, you'll see that you've got a lot of ones. Not quite enough for a glitch, but almost. So, I resist by his arm. The do you know what your your armor penetration is negative three? That'll reduce six of his armor. Yeah. Chuck. Negative five. Thank you for that. So negative five reduces plus his body. Okay. He gets one, two, three, four successes, reducing um, uh, the net hits there down to 16 two. 16 damage. 16 fucking damage. Wow. Well, 16 damage minus his hits on the resistance. Oh, test. 16 damage minus his hits. 14, uh, which takes him out immediately. Just electrocute the guy. Exactly right. He electrocutes him. It gives him a heart attack. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Uh, Say, so, yeah, get the target on the boat and uh, I'm to shoot the guy. All right, go ahead. He's briefly distracted by the fact that his headset goes. Okay, so that's five successes on the drone's attack. Um, yeah. What's the armor piercing? A minus five. It's only six damage, though, so 11 minus whatever his hits are. It's three, so... Down to eight. Eight is what you're going to need to take him out. So that'll put him exactly on zero. And everything is going perfectly right now. Except the boat guy slows his boat down and he just yells, uh, physically yells out to the beach in Japanese. Lost communications! What's going on? Roll for initiative. Uh... <laughs> Onichiwa? Where is Onichiwa? What is that? Sorry. Uh, uh reaction plus intuition plus a d6 unless you have something that modifies cyberware that modifies it or magic that modifies it um oh that wasn't just like an initiative button i think there would be somewhere but we're not particularly familiar with the <laughs> the game but i think there would be somewhere okay fuck me Where it's uh by attributes Oh, I see it. Initiative. I guess Matrix Initiative is different. Attributes. Yes and no. Um, 
Matrix Initiative is faster and applies to people in the moment. Yeah, because you're moving at like the speed of thought. Uh, drones use it because uh, you know they think as fast as most as drones. Uh... Physical limit. I can't fucking find shit. So on your character sheet under yeah. attributes, it should be just under your magic. So it would be eight plus one d six. Yep. You guys can ten. I oh, I have to do it through. Um, oh, couldn't really hear you, Billy. No, I heard two words, and that was all. I heard. Can um, you guys? If you um, detection, like sensitivity, sensitivity up. And if you're using push, I'm long enough to try that. Can you hear me better? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, Godfather, the first. Um, one, two, three. Is that everyone? That's we might be missing someone. What is initiative uh, supposed shade. to be? Yeah. Uh, reaction plus intuition plus 1d6. Thank you. It should be on your uh, sheet by attributes. No, no. I, I saw that. So I was just trying to do oh, that. So I, I rolled the minimum possible. Well, shade got a 12. I'll just add him into the turn. All right, so Godfather and Drone, um, you're the first cab off the rank. Um, he's, they start yelling out in Japanese, calms down, what's going on? So on one hand, it's not like bullets are flying. On the other hand, the gig is up, you know? You might still be able to fool them. Maybe you can pull a rabbit out of a hat. But at this point, a competent security guard will grow suspicious. Exactly. Um, Godfather's going to yell, uh, drop him, drop him. And uh, I think uh, hot jump into his uh, uh, drone. All right. And I think that'll take his turn. So you, you can go ahead and skip me and the drone. Cool, cool. The Yakuza operative um, uh, pilots his boat over to the nearest beach. And um, he gets out with his weapon drawn, looking around. I'll give him a perception check as soon as I shoot down. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'll give him his perception check now. Um, I don't know how to oppose it. Um, I guess everybody make a stealth roll with a bonus of three dice since you've got good positions. He gets I guess he's defaulting on stealth. Uh, what, what's the rolls for stealth? Agility, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, just agility and nothing else? <clears throat> so yeah, agility. Agility yeah, minus right. one if you're defaulting. Yeah, agility and stealth is, would be the role, but if you have no stealth, agility negative one. Andre, obviously invisible. Sneaking, there it is. Uh, so how many plus? Three. Yeah, Fenway'd uh, advise edging that if you'd like. I thought it was two. You can spend a point of edge and re-roll every uh, miss. Okay, so yeah, I'll do that then. Yeah. Okay, so ham. So how many do I get to do that? Uh, every die that wasn't a success, you rolled uh, five dice. So yeah, three d six rated in five.
That's my score. All three. right. Perfect. Um, must have been the wind. He yells out to everyone. Oh, good. They're Skyrim guards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shade, it looks like things are going smoothly after a brief ruffle, but um, uh, with their comms down, it's only a matter of time before they uh, work out what's going on. Uh, that's evidenced by the fact that the uh, only guy on patrol with the beach, uh, with the boat, has landed the boat and come out. You also hear movement within the, uh, the building. Bow movement. Um, I'm going to take a shot at the guy, uh, at the boat. All right. All right. It's a little bit of a difficult shot because of the uh, ledges in the way. You can't get a completely clear shot, but it's only going to cost you a single dice. Uh, your vantage point compensates for most of the difficulty. So you'll have one dice left to make this uh, attack. Now, because um, did you have one dice left, is that the the appropriate roll? Yeah, I see a negative one in that roll. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well done. I'm glad you you worked it out. So a, a seven is going to be more than enough to to take him out. Um, but by now the cavalier, so it's got a silencer, right, or a suppressor. Correct. Yeah, it has. All right. Suppressors are useful, yeah. but they're still pretty loud, as anyone who's fucking fired a gun with a silencer on will tell you. It's not actually silent. And such a massive caliber weapon, such as your own. Um, uh, look, the point is, you're making a fair amount of noise up here. It's not silent, but it's very effective. And um, armor piercing three, nine armor, brings it down to six, plus three is eight. All right. He gets a total of zero successes on eight dice, and you take him out instantly. But you guys have heard these pop, pop, pop coming from the roof. Um, it's not the massive blast that the gun would normally produce, but it's still an audible sound. Andre, what do you do? I will move to try to flank the door to hit anybody coming out of that sun baton. Perfect. So at this stage, movement is important. So understanding how far you can move will be useful right now. All right. If you want uh, to make some kind of test, Matt, it's a audio perception test, uh, minus four for the silencer, for anyone to know. Yeah. It's also minus a little bit more by the people who are asleep, but the cooks might have heard it. Mm. Thank you for thank you for the, the information. Um, so, how do I know how much how far I can move? Sorry, real quick. Is that in stat sheet? Oh um, man, what's, calculating what's, movement always pissed me off. I don't know how. No, to no, do it. it's it's really simple in this. What's your race? Uh, elf. Uh, it is. Let me just bring it up. When I'm an it's elf, and it's like six twelve. It's just a flat number, usually in Shadowrun, and your race just determines how fast you can run to make it faster. Oh, his movement. Yeah. It's just plus I... two. Says that's all it says. Ah, uh, that's when you. Uh... Per, that's per hit on a sprinting test. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, that it should have a flat. Rate. I'm I'm just gonna Google Shadowrun movement rate. Yeah, yeah I hate it. That's it doesn't say it anywhere in the sheets or anything like that. Oh, um, it's all right. I got it. My one says six twelve. So would it be the same if they're both elves? I think it's determined by agility and strength your agility. as well. So for an elf, it's your agility times two to walk, agility times four to run. Okay. Um, agility times. Two is my agility is two, and that's how many meters in a combat turn you can cover. Okay, and so basically, so when you hit the, if you hit the running rate, that determines the modifiers that people are getting to shoot you. 
and modify. Where are you finding that? Page 162 of the core rulebook. Thank you. Okay, so it's two times... A, a, it's two. It was, sorry, two times your agility, was it? Yeah. Agility so times four. two is your walk rate. Agility times four is your run weight. And then if you do a sprint, which is a which will take your action to do an athletics check, running check, uh, as an elf, you'll add two meters per hit on the test for elves, humans, and orcs. All right. So four meters is my walking. Yeah, that's right. Two if you're just two. walking, then it's four. If you're running, and you can still take an action if you run, it's oh, okay. Okay, I'll move a um, up to there, I guess. And it just means you'll take the running penalty on any attacks that you make and things like that. But people will also get penalties to shoot you because you're running faster. But, but you're also, you're also less just... stealthy because you're, like, you're just running? Precisely. Precisely. I mean, the only people alive left is now in the building, and I shouldn't really hear from fucking Important 50 item. meters away. They call it running, but that's it's basically like jogging. It's not a full sprint, because a full sprint means you've taken your action yeah. to the test. Yeah. A hustle would be a good word. It's okay, gotta yeah, be a hustle. Yeah, exactly. I'll just hustle forward over that way a little bit then. Yeah. Um and as I um finish hustling, I'll um, I would have heard those pops from the sniper as well from where I am, is this right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and like while well, most people might think it's a frog or a bird, you'd be able to identify what they are. So you for example, you could still sneak while running, but you'd take a minus to your roll because of the running modifier. That's right. I'm going to use my last control um, action, I guess, uh, if I'm doing this right, uh, on the guy in the toilet. And I'm, he's going to think, maybe if I grunt and like try and push it out and grunt, maybe it'll help. So he's going to try and make a start making noise, basically, if he can. That's all good, but keep in mind that these rounds are relatively short, and not a lot of time has passed, so it's probably been at most 30 seconds since he just went inside, dropped his pants, started getting undressed, and now is, you know, doing something else. So you're giving him a bit of an information overload, which is fine, but just to keep it in perspective, these turns haven't taken five minutes each. They've taken three seconds. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, that's all right. I'll just hold off then and um, wait for information. All right. I think there was a little bit of an initial delay there, there Matt, because we waited for him a little bit before we started taking action. There definitely was, but it's still yeah. only a handful of minutes because the um the boat didn't complete a complete circle of the uh, of the yeah. island. And Omen, you get more than three actions. You keep controlling his thoughts until you stop sustaining the spell. You just take a penalty until you drop it. The three is how many successes he needs to get to break the spell. Oh, okay. And right. he gets to save. Per round. Right, okay. Um, I, so, uh, does yeah. he get a save for round? He doesn't, it, it doesn't have to have a reason to uh, resist? To he, become he has to make, once, uh, once he knows that he's being manipulated, yeah. Yeah, and he can figure that out with the perception check. Uh, the threshold is equal to uh the spell casting ability of the person casting the spell minus the force of the spell so All right. it, yeah so if you cast a force three spell with perception or with a spell casting rating six it would be a threshold three perception check to notice it right okay cool well i um i didn't really say so it was defaulted to force six um and my magic is Six, I believe. Yeah, it's max. So, um, yeah, it's really powerful, but he probably knows it's being used on him, technically. All right. Okay. Um, but he has to make a test with a big penalty to resist it. Actually, you know what? Shits and giggles. Let's try this. Um, I'm gonna... Because uh, I still have actions, yeah? I haven't done anything. I just moved. that's right. You've just moved, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna summon a low level spirit of man. Um, maybe force one is fine. Uh, no, I got force two. Force two will be fine. Um, spells and spirits. Q Q Q. Summoning a spirit. And if that's done, what? Well 
sustaining another spell. Yeah. I'm sorry. I found it. He rolls uh, logic plus willpower minus the support or minus the spell's force to resist. Yep. And wow. he so, successes and yeah. fully meets the tree. He rolls so minus six to resist yeah. the. And right. every time he gets a hit, that gets subtracted from your net hit. So he has to get three hits total in order to. And he has the minus six every time he makes it. All right. So if you like, if you cast that on an average person with logic three, willpower three, technically you have them as long as you want them, because they can't resist it. Okay. You just have to. But you're taking a minus two on every action you do because you're sustaining a spell. And yeah, have, like, I'm focus concentration, right? Okay, well, it's only level 2. I'm not going to bind it. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, so summoning plus magic. Right, it would take you two hours to bind it anyway. That, oh, uh, yeah, true. Um, so summoning plus magic. Summoning. I can just look at my skills. Summoning. Spirits of... So, for 12 dice. Roll. You'll, roll, you'll roll three dice to resist this map. Um, I, I was I was distracted. What what's happening? He's summoning a spirit of man right. at level uh, two. I said, "Yep, yeah." So roll twelve d six. Um, normal thing five. That's three successes. Okay, he got one success, so you've got two services. Okay, um, and, and you resist drain of two. Of two the spirit of man looks like a little fat Polyne uh, Polynesian pygmy. Uh, kind of like that. I haven't seen the movie, but that Disney movie, the fat kid. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if you know I'm talking Moa, Moana. I don't know. Looks like a little fat Polynesian boy with tattoos. Cool. Clearly, clearly a spirit, though. Uh, so, four successes. So, I right. didn't take any, I don't think. Yep. You yeah, just cool. eat all that dream. Uh, right, now I look at... Because he's actually a level 3 because of my spirit thing. Yeah. Like spirit affinity or something? Uh -huh. spirit uh, so I'm going to tell him to... Where's Pounce? Um, basically, go to the uh, bedroom in the house with the robot and if the human gets uh, alerted to cast influence to calm him down all right this little manifested spirit in front of you glowing a soft whitish blue jumps on his surfboard and starts surfing away on the air all righty you love spirits um, much or arctic i do <laughs> huge spirit fan and I guess for my last action, I'll say, I'll just put over comms. Um, owner of the house um, is covered. Let's get in and get snake. And that's it. All right. Spirit moves up at the speed of thought, goes through the wall, and goes inside. I wouldn't know where the bedroom is, though, so... Hmm. Do you give any more specific instructions? Um, well, I mean, I've seen the place, so I would have said where it is, I guess. Spirit, uh, spirits are pretty intelligent. Spirit um, of man would know a bedroom maybe better than a dog spirit, I guess. Right, right. The right side of the building, there's a large bedroom with a man and a robot. Find that person, and if he gets... A Gets up from the bed, tell him, um, confuse him, um, and make him docile. Yeah, true. All right. Then what? I I will I will run then. I can move twelve. I think. Sounds about right. So we've neutralized all external guards, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah, and I'll summon a spirit as well. I mean, I'll do level three because I think because I'm doing a beast to like get the um, snake. Matt, I want to quickly check what other gear this guard has. 
They got a comlink, a HK, anything else? The comlink and this was built into a set of goggles. Those goggles have low light vision and, and um, magnification, armor vest, and um, personal effects mostly. Yeah, they don't, like, they don't have a sidearm or a, any melee. Yeah, weapon. yeah, they'd have a sidearm, um, a, a light automatic pistol. I think that flashetti might be appropriate. A fairly light automatic pistol. Yeah. Um, not actually designed to be used, just designed to make you look cool. I want to take the clip out of both of those, and I just want to check, yeah, what, sure. kind of ammo, check what kind of ammo they're loaded with. The, the um, gun, the HK, is loaded with normal ammo. The flechettes are, I believe, by default, loaded with hollow point rounds. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm not sure I'm thinking of the right gun, but anyway, that's what these guns are. Um, uh, are you they're... thinking in the Viper Sliver gun? Um, that might be what I'm thinking which, of. Which yeah. they have fletched ammunition in them. That's right. But how how expensive are those guns? Um, that might be an they, expensive gun. They might be moderately expensive because they're like they're a burst fire capable. Um, yeah. Heavy pistol. You're right. Well, we That's can determine that. Um, if if you can look that up for me, that'd be great. Uh, it so it's either a um cheapest chips three hundred eighty nine. Perfect, and that's the perfect weapon for them, yeah, because they look cool, they're designed to kill people that don't wear armour, and that's who these guys expect to be fighting, um, but in case they fight real resistance... Really good at actual... um, suppressing fire, because they're burst fire, fletched ammunition. Oh, okay, cool. Great in the subway. Alright. So yeah, you are, you take the, the, the clip or the whole gun? Uh, I just wanted to see what they were loaded with, just so that we know for the guys that are inside that are still conscious. Perfect, yeah. Sidearms have hollow point, um, main arms have uh, regular ammunition. Yep, and I put that over the um, comm channels. All right. Godfather. It was my turn, wasn't it? Oh, did, oh sorry, so you, had, you did your run, but you didn't take an action, did you? Yeah, I was summoning a, like, a beast spirit. Perfect, perfect. And so, oh, so force three? It is unsuccessful at resisting, and so it is yours. And I get the train. Perfect. I won't have to do anything for now, I'll just... Because I'm, I'm like, just getting it now so I don't like fail the roll later when you get the snake. Your spirit of beasts appears as a panther. And I'll just say, like a noble spirit, I will require your services in a few minutes. A spirit of beats. Wow. Yeah, it's Lucia. Is it a Dre spirit? Shadowrun. <laughs> I summon the spirit of beats by Dre. It's just a beetroot. Spirit of man. It's Dre that has a head of a beat. Oh, I, I finally clicked as to what's going on, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, God, Godfather, things are going well, but this is the moment when shit falls apart. You can feel it in your bones. Yeah, he's uh, going to basically take a full action with his drone. Uh I'll be and back in a move second, it up to the corner of the building, and that is yep eighty. Um, and he's gonna try to sneak up to the side, or this is where the open window is, right? You'll have to ask the other. If I remember from the layout, that's where like the kitchen is. Sounds right. Like um, again, I'll have to, I'll rely on your memory rather than confirming or denying it. He was like okay. back over here. So yeah, he's gonna. Since he has an invisible drone, uh, he's gonna try to peek around the corner and look into the window and see whether or not the cooks are suspicious or anything. They sure are. In fact, um, the cooks are currently talking to each other. One of them grabs the knife in one hand and the cleaver. And, and nods towards the other and looks like he is about to exit the kitchen. 
Alright. It's like um, this guy just comes out immediately and sparks one of us and just one shots us with the throwing knife. <laughs> uh, secret Godfather's just gonna ping the entire team in big letters, uh, jigs up, boys. And that'll be this turn. Alright, I'll move you over to the second map, since there's probably not much for you to see on this first map anymore. Um, you've presumably, have you got eyes through your drone or not? Yeah, I have cameras. Roll, by, roll, rather, by roll 20 eyes. Sensors. Oh. Probably uh, not. I think I can do that with the token editor. All right, cool. I'll put your token down then. Um, I might even make it easy and just, uh, I'll, I'll just give you vision. Uh, 60 has sight. That should work. Okay, cool. Let me know if this works when I move you over. Hang on, what did I miss? Not much. Okay, okay. so um, can you see now? Uh, yes, I can. All right, cool. So here's the windows. Presumably you can, like you're looking through those windows. These two cooks are talking to each other. This one grabs his knife and and prepares to go that direction. All right. Yeah. You double move, though, so he doesn't have an action. Perfect. All right. If you want me to switch you back to the other map, just let me know. Um, I'll, I'm fine taking my turns from here, I think. I thought so. Yeah, cool. All our Yakuza operatives that we know about are, um, are fine. Um, but um, Mr. Poo Poo is wondering why he is taking a shit because he doesn't really feel like a shit. So, like, I should be working, but nature calls, and so, you know, I'm just going to keep taking my ties and my shoes off, and um, I'm sure that this is a rational behaviour for a man suffering from some kind of a gastro. All right. Shade on the roof. Um, am I? I'm gonna jump down to where the open window is, and I'm going to throw seconds. a flash grenade. No worries. I'll, I don't see Ricochet on the initiative anymore. Is he the question mark? No, he's not. Ricochet, what's your initiative? Is he there? Ricochet, Ricochet? was on a 12. It was on a 12. I, right. just scrolled, okay, I just scrolled up and had a look. All right, thanks. I'll put him at the end of our Shade and Andre. So Shade, uh, you jump down with a flashbang? Oh, sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, it wouldn't let me add my initiative for some reason. It said that my token was invalid or something. Yeah, who knows? Probably roll 20. Okay, cool. I'll take Shade Yeah, I'm going to throw a flashbang. All right, so you jump down over here. I should be able to move you to the map now, and you should be able to see. And I've got some bad news for you. There doesn't seem to be any windows on this side of the building. All right, so we'll start. Um, Shane, oh, I with thought your... I was on first. Right, I'll, I'll go back to the other map. Um, uh, I'll take you back to the other map. Um, you would have had a visual earlier, thanks to uh, the image link that we've been given. And this is really just a tutorial mission, you know, in, in some ways. So it's, it's, if, we, if we make some errors, it's not a big deal. Um, so you're up on the roof, right? We talked about how far you can move in one round, and it's not very far unless you've got a shit ton of agility. Um, 
the um, this is the side that I just put you on, uh, and this is the side that uh, the drone is entering from, um, and for the uh, the spirit for that matter as well. So yeah, we'll go back to your term. What is it that you want to do? Uh, I guess I'll just since I'll just use my whole action to dash to the side of the open window. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, yep, no worries. Say so again. Sixteen. Yeah, that's years. that's that, and that's that's very useful. That's very useful. But um, there are multiple sides with windows. There's only one side that doesn't really have a window. So this is basically an example of where you need to pay a bit of attention in Shadow Run. If we're, when we've got a plan, we need to know what the plan is. It'll be fine this time. I really don't mind. But next time, if you come in from the wrong side, you're going to come in from the wrong side. So um, there's a front door up here. There's um, access ways through here. Most of the power that you're coming in through this. Side. I'll let you um, decide where you're coming in. You've got 16 meters of movement in any case. Oh, uh, I was trying to go to the side where the cooks were. Excellent, excellent. That's nice and clear. So that's up here. All right. You're going to have to run across the roof if you want to get there. Okay. So you run across the roof. Um, you dislodge a couple of the tiles as you do. You make a tremendous racket. There is virtually no way to run on somebody's roof without them hearing you, unless unless you want to spend your action doing stealth. But again, it's it might not even work. Um, what do you think? Do you want to try to run stealthily across a slate tile roof? It can be done. Uh, since the jig is up at this point, I'm just not going to even try to stealth. Brilliant. All right. So you've used, I think it was about 22 meters of your me movement. You've got about 10 meters left. You're on the roof. What do you do? And is this the side where the window of the cooks are? Yes. That's right. The cooks should be directly underneath you. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to jump down and throw the flash grenade. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So jumping down, I think, is um, it would be agility and acrobatics. So make an agility gymnastics. acrobatics yeah. check. Gymnastics and athletics. Sorry. So agility and gymnastics. It should be a pretty easy check. You're only jumping two and a half meters. You can't pull this off. You probably need a new job. By the way, Arctic, I know you said the doors were like the Japanese paper style doors. What are the walls? Yeah. Are they the same? They're not, they... the, the inner walls, yes. The outer walls, no. And the same goes for the outer doors. The door, front door isn't made of paper, for example. It's, yep. it's, it's purely deco aesthetic for inside. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yep. yeah. Brilliant. And so you land shade without even disturbing a blade of grass. Now I'll take you over to the other map. All right, shade. Um, yeah, that's perfect. And you come in from this side over here where the drone is. Um, so you've just landed in there. Time to use a flashbang. Grenades are one of my favorite things in Shadowrun. Let's see how grenades work. They are complex, but they're fun. All right. Um, so there's a throne skill, right? Oh, it looks like you know what you're doing. Weapons. It's uh, not going to flash pack, not a flash bang, by the way, Shade. They're different things. Okay, cool. Are they still grenades? Uh, flash packs are not really. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, right. they're, they're, they're classified like... under the grenades, and you can toss them like a grenade, but they don't explode like a flash bang does. They're just like a camera flash, strobing. It's flash like a strobe light, off. yeah. And like you get a big penalty to aiming if you're looking in its direction, so you can like strap one to a shield or cover. So to give oh, right. people it's like when you go to a nightclub you know. and they put on the strobe lights, basically. And it's not going to blind them, is it? It's it's going to interfere, but it's not going to blind them outright. Correct. No. Yeah. Meaning to throw. Right. Oh, uh, I'll try. 
but it, it basically constantly screws with low light vision and normal vision because you, you can't adjust to the light because it keeps scrolling back sense. and forth. Yeah. All right, Shade. So knowing that, well, you can uh, take a different action, or, or if you still have an actual flash grenade, you can use that. Yeah, you do have flashbangs, by the way. Cool. Uh, Godfather, if you want to explain how we can um, find that information. Just make a throne roll. It's close range, so there'll be no penalties for your throne. It's a, it couldn't be an easier shot. I'm not sure if he's there. Might be more uh, audio issues, perhaps. All right. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, it's going to be successful anyway, regardless of what's happening. Um, you toss the grenade in there. Um, if it's a smoke grenade, it'll fill the area with smoke. If it's a flashbang, it'll probably blind the rather basic books. They do stun damage uh, as well. Yeah, uh, ten, how they work. 10 stun damage minus 4 AP. All right. Uh, they don't wear armor. They're cooks. Like the six flashbangs knock someone out. They can do. They're a stun grenade. One and two. They're a concussion grenade. So they resist two each. That's going to be enough to take them both down. Um, and um, yeah, the cooks are out. All right, excellent work. Things are back in control. And we'll go back to the main map. Andre. You're in the front. That all came through my video feed. Yeah, and you probably heard a fucking flashbang go off. Is there a... a fuck. I will... Uh, I'll go through this. Stuff. Yeah, I'll move you to the, uh, to the new map since, like, you're right there. Um... Moving Andre to the new map, done. Okay, cool. So what you see here, this is like a garden or something, a Japanese garden. Anyway, the front door is up here, but there is also a window here. And you see the flash of light behind that window strobing through the shutters. Front door, strobe window. I, uh, I'll stick with my original thing. Go through the front door. Brilliant. You uh, discovered that the front door is locked. It has a magnetic. I will move back and. Uh, oh no, that's that should probably be my turn. Move there, try the door. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, I guess that's maybe it's an action to open a door. That's click, click, right. click, 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 click. All right, doesn't open. Uh, there's an electronic keypad behind it. It was a maglock pass key, wasn't it? Even that's right. Card? Mag, that's exactly right. A maglock pass key. Which I'm assuming each of these guards has one of those. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. If you've ever been to a modern hotel, you get a little plastic card to enter your hotel room with. That's what searched, they use. When I checked over this card before, did I find his? Yeah, you would have. Yeah, I didn't mention it, but he would have a maglock pass key. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And um, and Andre, you would probably have found the same thing um, when you searched that guy. Now that I think of it, it's just yeah. I will that would make try sense. that pass key. 
and it works perfectly. Yeah, I'm glad you we brought that up because yeah, just didn't didn't think of it. Um, it opens up into a um, a dim room, a dimly lit room, whose main source of illumination is inside the aquarium itself. And as you can see, it's fucking huge. It takes up the majority of the living space. This is a a, um, a relatively simple computer um, that uh, that keeps the relatively simple automaton running here. Um, the flash bang was set off in this, and you can hear a guy taking off his shit in this. Do you have any more movement or anything to do? Yeah, I actually have quite a bit. Of it. So. I can move 22 meters. And I will make sure my camera points for a second towards uh wiggly there all right wiggly is in your sights snake has a name and then i'll turn my attention this way and all i'll right. make a, you can have a perception check just for free All right. Um, the place sounds quiet as far as uh, the, the rather the west of the building. The western side of the building sounds. Quiet. All right. Ricochet, you're a fair distance from the front door. Yep. So I'm going to sprint. All right. Uh, which is am I still on uh am I still on the initiative tracker in the main map? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't go from map to map because roll twenty sucks, so I'll just have to keep track of it. You'll come you're, coming, you're, right, you're yeah, at the top just of the making sure. Yeah, good. Uh so that means twenty six meters I can cover. So... That's good. Oh sorry, is that right? Yeah, 26. Halfway there. Omen. Um, I will... You know what? I'll, I will. I'll rush to the front door as well. I guess. Um, so sprinting is uh, my agility times. Agility times four, four. and make uh, agility plus um, running check. All right. Okay. Um, you have the running skill or athletics group. Probably not. If not, agility minus one. Running? No, I don't. Yep. So agility okay. minus one. Agility, which is just a. I only have two in agility, so it'd be one. All right. So. Actually, Plus... sorry, it's, sorry, it's strength anyway. I meant. I was at strength. That yep. might be worse. Let's have a look. All right. Strength is two as well. So it would be the exact same role. So no. So it'd just be times uh, two times four, which is eight. All right. About there. You are really just um, like... Yeah. Uh, so That's yeah, fine. just agility times four. That's all right. Um. Actually, that would been a that would have been a better idea. Um. Is that one action? So you're an elf. You put no points in agility. <laughs> nope, I'm a caster, but I have an idea. <laughs> um, 
Is that is that an action? The sprinting two, is yes. Two more. Uh, I think the sprinting is your action. A whole action. Yeah. Okay. So, and then there's, just, there's just... no other use uses I can use. Like a, you know how there's like a bonus action. There's nothing like that I can do. You yeah, normally you get two simple or a complex action, and I think that's that. Sprint might be a complex. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'd, I'd say sprint is complex. That'd be my guess. That's all right then. I'll just, I'll just. That's my turn. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll move towards the door. So I'm going before home. you do, oh, there's a question. The question mark. There certainly is. Um, you can make another perception check, Andre. Brilliant. You hear some movement down in this direction, right? The movement sounds like someone dragging a huge sack of potatoes across the ground. And then you hear the of some electronic piece of equipment coming online. Uh, <laughs> and I go peek around that corner. It's not your turn, so oh, it's, it's, um, I yeah, uh, yeah. Not, a, not a problem at all. Yeah, no, I know what that is. It's the snake, isn't it? Like that, not the snake we're looking for, the other one? They have to be snakes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's the snake and the drone. Do we still have we... access to the interior visuals and the cameras? Potentially, yeah, but Godfather would have to switch over to them. Uh, so you don't, but but he can have uh, when he's not. But he's currently jacked into his um to his drone, so he can't see through them at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna move twelve meters. Brilliant. All right. And um, is, are you sprinting or anything? I don't think there's any point. I, I okay. won't get much further. No worries. So, is there anything at all that you want to do with your action? Oh yeah, can I? I'll cast increased reflexes on like myself, I guess. Brilliant. You might as well go for, like four six, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Is this still the first round? Yeah. Second. The second lot of actions for the first round. So. Oh right, I I was I was using rounds. Yeah, my mistake. I'm playing in the wrong game. Yeah. Um. Not D and D. <laughs> no, no. So um, Fenway doesn't actually get an action yet, and nor did Omen. Ha <laughs> ha. Lol. Ha. Lol. Want me to move back six meters, eight meters? Well, well, um, not. Don't worry about it for now. You can just stay where you are. The thing is, because you can't take extra movement with your actions anyway. There's still a certain amount of movement that you can move. Like, it doesn't matter if you roll fifty on the initiative. You can't move five times the speed that you would normally be able to. Yeah, move those roll those roll walk around. run sprint rates take your entire. That's over the whole combat turn, regardless of how many actions you get. Um, yeah, so if you burn all your movement on your first action, then means that you can't move for the rest of your actions, but it also means that you're counted as running for the rest of your actions. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Because this is not intuitive with Roll20, I'm going to mess it up a few times. So, Godfather, second action, first round. Okay. Uh, with the cooks in the kitchen neutralized yeah he's gonna bring his drone around to the second window is your drone your drone still got plenty of movement obviously yep 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 cool just checking all right so you bring it around the second window the windows are wooden they have wooden shutters they're not glass windows they're um french windows i think might be the right word um like wooden venetian blinds anyway um so what do you do at your wooden window? Um, can you see the uh, guy on the bed, the lady drone? Um, they're designed so that you shouldn't be able to, but when you're as close as you can, you will be able to do a peeping tom and look through the shutters at their strange angle and maybe get a bit of a glimpse of them, but nothing clear. All right. 
Uh, well, if he can, he's going to angle his gun barrel through there. Uh, is that possible? No, it's not. Hmm. Uh, there's rules for shooting through walls, but I really don't care to look them up. Um, well, yeah, so these will... are these are very. They're pretty much um. What's that? That that really light wood, uh, balsa wood. They're basically like, balsa wood windows yeah. anyway, so they're not going to offer a, a lot of resistance. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. He'll switch to full auto and uh, <laughs> try to take out the guy on the bed. All right, because you don't have a clear image of him, just a vague silhouette, you'll lose two dice to your attack, but he's got no armor, and the only armor that is present is the wood, which I'll say counts as two points of armor. And I'm pretty sure you bypass two points of armor anyway, right? Yeah. So you just penetrate this bolts of wood like fucking paper, man. And um, But you do have negative two dice to shoot, since he might be lying in a strange position, and you go to shoot his, his butt, but his butt is pressed up against hers, or something like that, you know? It's just, you don't have clear visual, so you lose two dice. All right, brilliant. Um, he is currently asleep, which means he's not likely to dodge. He resists by body alone. He gets a success. Congratulations Ooh. for a total of five net successes. Uh, that takes it to 11 stun, I believe. Which will take him out. All right. And uh, that'll be his turn. All right. The dog wakes up. The Yakuza operatives are uh, <laughs> neutralized. Okay, so Shade, you get a second uh, um, initiative pass. You, as we explained, you don't get extra movement, but if you haven't used your full movement, and you haven't, then you still have some movement left. So you can move up to six meters by my calculation, um, and you have yeah, like a full a full round of actions due to your extremely high initiative. Well, it wasn't very high, but let's not confuse the rat. And we can't hear you, Shade. Uh, uh, I guess I'm just going to climb through the window Easy. and uh, uh, I guess that's the end of my turn because I don't You still have an action if you want to you have a complex action so um, um, there's, a, there's a few things that you could do um, basically anything Um, ready your gun to shoot if you see anyone walk through the door maybe or, um, or pick up an apple and eat the apple or cook some sushi uh, I guess I'll just ready to fire at any enemy that comes to my view perfect and you're using your sniper rifle in close range Uh, my assault rifle. All right, so you sling your uh, uh, sling your uh, main arm to one side, pull out the assault rifle. I'm pretty sure that's a, two simple actions: one to get rid of one gun, the other to ready the second gun. I think that's right. And yeah, you're armed and ready. Okay, Andre, second um, initiative pass. Sorry, Matt, just one further distinction with the movement speed, just to further complicate things, because this is Shadowrun. Sure. You can make I told you I hated one... movement. <laughs> you can make more than one sprinting test in a turn if you have multiple actions to get a oh. little bit extra, but it's but it's burning through your actions just to get a couple of extra meters of distance. It's a great rule. I really yeah. do love the rule. It's just fucking so it's a, a lot we... to think When about. do we get our movement back, then? Next the round. next round. So you'll have to understand the, the difference between passes and rounds. Right now, we're in the second pass. 
So you'll get your movement back when the round ends, not when the pass ends. So the way initiative works in Shadowrun Fenway is a bit different to D and D. In D and D, in Shadowrun, you roll initiative every round, and then after everyone's had an action in their pass, everyone subtracts ten from their initiative, and if you still have a positive number, you get another turn. And so that's how mm. street samurais and stuff get, you know, multiple actions because they've got ridiculous initiative values. So I wasn't going to explain it, but but Tim brings it up at the right time. And um, Andre had 12. We take away 10, it becomes 2. Ricochet had 12. We take it away 10, it becomes 2. Omen has 10. We take away 10, it becomes 0. So Omen will not get a second pass. Does so it just keep going? Like, if I had, like, 30 initiative, what would happen? Yep. So what I get three actions? actions. Oh, okay. You get four That's actions. The original one. Four actions, yeah. And some people do get 32 on their initiative roll, trust me. One of the ways you can spend edge is to roll 5d6 initiative for a turn. So if you're not a street sam, that's basically generally the only way you can get more than one action. More, more than two actions anyway. I suppose if I don't roll absolutely the minimum number, I might get a second action too. Yeah, that's right. And you also have that, didn't you have the spell increase reactions? That's the whole point. Yeah, I was just about to cast it. But then... Yeah, exactly. But um, you're but you're a bit slow. All right. So again, tutorial mission perfect. These it's great that these scenarios are coming up. Andre second pass first round. <laughs> no, that was you, uh, did you did your round? Did you? Did you have your go? No. I mean, no. I mean, okay. I should have six meters. Left. Brilliant. And can I pull my pull America L thirty six out? While I move, yes, I believe it's a simple action. Where, weapon. Yep. In, where's the door here? Good questions. Um, let's see if I can make it clear. Um, there is a um, the, the doors make up the entire walls, basically like Japanese doors. I'll draw it in a little more clearly, freehanded. So this sector here will slide up into here. And um, this door here uh, will sort of slide up like that. But they're only papered walls. So, you know, you could punch your fist through them. So could you said I heard something back here? Through the bottom in the corner here, yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I make anything out through those paper walls? Yeah, sure. It'll take your action to make a perception check. Um, at the moment, all that you can hear is someone dragging something big along the ground, and then an electronic, an electronic piece of equipment comes online. Uh, can I poke a hole through this paper wall? You certainly can. It's dark in there. Um, I have a uh, vision. Brilliant. I'll um, I'll light up that room then, um, since that'll do. And delete the door. Okay. Can you see pretty much what's going on there? There's a dude sleeping on a Japanese bed. Yes. I say a Japanese bed. I mean a, a simple futon. All right, so that's what you see when you poke your hole through the paper. So would that be a new initiative? I think, that's, I think that will be the end because that's two simple actions, one to get your gun, one to poke a hole. That sounds like two simple actions to me. We'll move on to Ricochet now for his uh, final pass. Uh, so I will make another sprinting test. All right. Woo, 12 meters. All right. As you sprint, the dog begins to bark. All right. So how close are these guys now? All right. I can put Ricochet on the main map. Or the... Secondary map, depending on your perspective. 
structure map. That's right, internal map. Um, all right, so you should be on the uh, internal now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's the end of the initiative. So we remove all turns. And um, now that we're on two separate maps, it's, it's going to be really hard to keep track of it. That's hilarious. Um, I might move the, uh, the two uh, latent gentlemen to the main map just so that we can put them on the right initiative. We're just about to enter it anyway, but I think if I use my movement, just I can be on the map. <laughs> just Sorry, a bit of my, my little joke. Um, um, I'll look through your eyes, see if you can see. You cannot see. You can see a little bit. So you guys are down here. I just put you down there for the sake of it. You're not actually there. That's just an off the map area. Everyone a roll for initiative, including the dog. I'm, I'm still on the big map. Yeah, you're still, oh, I, did, I not, didn't move you across, did I? My mistake, there we go. So I put you guys down the bottom, right down the bottom of the map, if you're looking for yourself. Oh, rip. Uh, I'll just roll again that and change it. Um. Hmm. Uh, that's something I was forgetting. There we go. And I can change that. I didn't get a 13, I got a 10 again. There's the stats. No, nope, still not adding yes. me to the turn order though. Really? Do you have your do you have your token clicked before you roll? Uh, like I'm. Ah, uh, do you have to? Is that how you do it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. Is that what I'm doing wrong? Aha. Okay. Yep. Got it. Happy dog. Um, sex bot. Um, Yakuza dudes. <laughs> We've got so many pages open for like different Shadowrun pages. If I if I had if I had books beside me, they'd be getting. Like, I'd, I'd have to use six or seven bookmarks. I reckon. Gee, they're rolling shitty on their initiative. Like really bad. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, yes, yes. Like I said, drone got like a 29, and like he could almost get like three turns. Exactly. Uh, um, drones are what I'm actually looking for. So, uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Are you cold or hot, Sim? Hot, I believe, at the uh, moment, in his drone. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Godfather's hot, Sim, and yeah. There's such a thing as cold, Sim. Cold sim yep. is what like normal people use. No, they're... we're shadow runners. We're not normal people. We're yeah, shadow... cold shunner. Yeah, there are people who use cold sim, and those people are called pussies. That's right. It doesn't exist. Cold sim. I've never heard of such a thing as cold sim. I don't think. I don't think it's real. I think it's a myth. It's also All right. 
okay, so that's a Doberman and the Doberman. Oh, man, this doesn't tell me anything. How do I roll the Doberman's initiative if it's on I mean, autopilot? I mean, it tells me that he changed. It's, uh, uh, it gets Matrix initiative. He changed the bleed like between rounds. So, but I'm looking at the drone. Pilot, two, po pilot, or, plus pilot two. times two plus two, uh, 46. 46? That's nuts. Uh, yeah. Drones get Matrix initiative because they move and react at the speed of processing. And I got an 18 on 46 plus 6. That, no, they're they're going to get 3d6. It's only 3d6. Oh, sorry, for, no, they get minus 3d6, yeah, so 46 total. Bonus 3d6, that's what. Um, my spirit, would it have astral initiative then? Yes. So I should probably roll that for that thing then. Until yeah, you manifest it. Yeah. Uh, it's still not manifested until the guy does something weird, but I think he's dead. Get, get, getting sense. shot is something weird. Or at least... Um, oh, small right. Small Polynesian child appears, like, everything's okay, sir? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, he's, he's fine, he's sleeping. Um, where's my... There it is. So I roll. Force times 2 plus 3d6. So it was at level 3. So 3 plus 3d6. Oh no, no, not the fires. Well, just seventeen total. So seventeen initiative. Cool. All right, so it gets a seventeen initiative. Yeah, that's a seventeen on it. I did. Sorry, I didn't click on. Are it. we going to put the beast spirit in as well? I think it might be a good idea because I I just have, sort of have it in the background. At the moment, because I'm going to use it to use my service to animal friendship, the like the snake. Okay, cool. All right, so um, I'll find uh the stats for your beast spirit and roll its initiative too, and I'll add okay. it to the turn. I just so I got to six when I summoned it. Does that mean I have like like how many services do I get? Um, how many did it's it services. resist? I I don't think it did. What is it? No, it didn't. So yeah, just six services. Well, I mean, I think it w we forgot to roll its resistance. So should we do no, that? No, we now? did. No, I rolled. I oh, it I just failed. So I have seven because I have spirit affinity, I guess. Right. I think it gives me an extra service. Okay, that sounds but, I mean, right. Seven is excessive for what I want to do. So. It is. All right, so if you've got its initiative there, I think it's what probably force times two plus I don't know, three d six for oh what type of is it? It's I've a got beast. all here. Uh, beast spirits of man water beasts. So astral is uh, force times two plus three d six, or if it's yeah. physical, it's two d six. So three times two plus three d six. Yeah, so, that's yeah, right. So six plus um three d six. Correct. Or 3d6 plus 3d6. Alright, how many did I do? Oh, plus 3. So it's actually another 3 on top of that 17. 20. So it's 20. 20, because mine's a spirit. And how do I do that thing where like it tells me the successes? Uh, you don't need to on that one. I accidentally did it because I don't know why. I did it too. Yeah, you do uh, your roll, you know, however roll 3d6, a greater than sign, and then 5. Because initiative isn't about successes, though. Initiative is about numbers added together. Yeah. So you add those got, three oh, sixes to the six. Exactly. So yeah, we're not initiative, actually even going to successes. Right? It's just about how big, big a number. All right. Well, I might. I don't have to delete the window because the window is invisible anyway. Um. Mage Geeker, you know, you're hot simmed in. Your objectives seem to be going well. You've neutralized the main target. Uh, the sex bot hasn't reacted yet, um, but the dog has. The dog is barking wild. Uh, yeah, he's going to take a uh, burst fire shot at it, I suppose. You monster. 
Um, I still get in the minus two for uh, blind fire. No, you've penetrated enough. You put a big enough hole in this thing that you can see the dog pretty well. Um, it's barking clearly. It's going to attempt to to get out of the way for what it's worth. I think it gets a penalty since I'm doing burst fire. Yeah, it does. Lol. What is the penalty going to be? Any ideas? So you roll reaction plus yeah, initiative me... minus two for the burst fire. Intuition, you mean, of course. Sorry? Reaction plus intuition. I yeah, what did I say? Sorry? Initiative. Oh, All right. Sorry. So um, reaction four, intuition four, total of eight, negative two will be six dice. It gets a total of three successes on its dodge roll. Four successes on the attack, so one net hit. It takes seven stun minus five armor piercing. Well, it has to resist seven stun minus five armor piercing. I mean, personally, I'm surprised the dog was smart enough to dodge. It's a trained combat dog. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good dog. I like this dog. Exactly. They're custom bred, these, these dogs. They, um, they're not what we'd call a normal animal. They're genetically enhanced. So what you're saying is he'd go for a lot of money. Absolutely. <laughs> are we just going to steal a dog on all of our first milk runs? Is that but, what we're doing now? It, it, when you, it tends to be difficult to pass dogs on from one handler to another. They, um, they're rarely as good for the second handler as the first. Yeah. Anyway, um, armor is zero, body is four, so it gets four dice to resist only. Total of one success reduced from how much stun? Uh, it goes from seven stun to six stun. Seven to six. So you take six points of stun damage. How do I work out? It's um. How do we work out wounds? I condition modifier there. Ten ten. It's, it's yeah, eight. Cool. So, it, yeah. so yeah, it's got ten ten. You've reduced it to what ten five? Did you say? Uh, six. Ten six. All right. All right, if it's still up, uh, he's going to take still a up. second shot. Well, because your burst fire is simple action, is it? Yep, simple action. Brilliant. I, I don't think you can shoot twice in the same... I don't think you can, no. I'm pretty sure you're going to take one shot. Penalty? No, the recoil penalty applies for your next initiative pass. It's a shatter on five thing. You can't shoot a weapon twice in the same initiative pass. Yeah, yeah. You have My to do mistake. a different, different simple action, like aiming, for example. Yeah, no worries at all. all right. Okay, the dog, the dog keeps barking, arr, 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 and starts barking again. The beast of spirit. I'll take you guys back to the main map now. Um, mm -hmm. Omen and Fenway. So, beast spirit. Um, any plans? It's just I guess it's chilling the astral like until I have use of it. This is, sorry, I was just saying, like, because it hasn't been given a command, it can't do anything. Is that right, guys? Well, it's not. It's not just. Cause it, well, since it just moves super fast, it doesn't really matter where it is, right? More or less. Yeah, but so... it's not your turn to order it to do anything, and it hasn't been given an order. I don't think. So you mm. can just sort of sit there until I need it? Because yeah, I think that's what I told true. it to do. Well, I didn't you tell exactly... it to do that. I just said, just sort of chill. I'll, I'll use you later. Precisely. So it's, um, so it's following its um, previous orders. It's still chilling. That's the end of its initiative pass. It'll get another pass soon. Okay, going back to the, um, to the main map um, is the... Uh, anyway, the, the spirit of man, is he still mm -hmm. watching? Is he manifesting? What's he doing? Um, I guess from the order I gave was to basically, if the guy did anything, to subdue him. But that's already been done, so I guess that would count as a service, and he'd come back? Or is that he just no, sits there and No, I watches. think your service, I'm pretty sure that you were waiting for him to get up. You didn't say anything about him being subdued, I don't recall that. Oh, okay. Pretty yeah. sure that the order was to wait until he was aroused, and he, he has not been yet, in spite of the sex spot. And 
So he'll just be sitting in dormancy mode. I think cool. that's the correct act, uh, interpretation. He's chilling out thinking this is the most boring service I've ever been asked to do. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Doberman drone. Just bashes straight through the wall. Paper wall ain't going to stop a Doberman. Um, okay, so it doesn't tell you the speed, does it? just gives you an approximate speed of three. I don't know how fast that is. Uh, it's like 30 meters a combat turn or something like that. Drones have nuts. Speed. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So he comes down here, brrr, sees a little uh, um, boy, has no uh, software recognition that identifies this boy as a non-hostile target. Um, but, but boy, you were sneaking, right? Maybe? I guess it wouldn't matter because it's like got a very clear line of sight to you unless... There's nothing to hide behind. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else can see this. I don't know. Anyway, it looks to me that the Doberman comes out and immediately opens fire with its light machine gun into Andre. Andre is going to attempt to die. Brilliant. Okay. So the in I think the um, light machine guns are called Ingram Valiants. Is that correct? Anyone know? It's a light machine gun, yes. Can you find the stats for an Ingram Valiant for me, please? Yeah, get that for you right now. Wonderful. I was going to ask for it earlier, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. All right, Ingram Valiant does nine physical with <gasps> two AP. Uh, it what is about on fire or full auto yeah. only? I want to use full auto. Okay, so what full auto and burst fire in this, they no longer increase damage or anything anymore. They just reduce your dice pool for your defense test. All right. Uh, it has an accuracy of five, six with the laser sight. Brilliant. So um, we'll have a laser sight. Its sensors are three. I assume it runs off three. We'll give it a program of three because that's what it be programmed. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be six dice to attack. Recoil compensation of six. Doesn't matter until after the first round, though, does it? Uh, it applies to this this fire as well. Any really? Uncom recoil. Un un uncompensated recoil will apply. Okay, cool. So um, uh, what's the recoil then on fully automatic machine gun? Uh, so you're doing a complex action full burst or a That's simple right. action? Okay, so I believe that is ten rounds. Um, which, so that'll be 10 recoil, so you'll get minus 4 die pool for that. Which won't matter in the first round, because um, recoil compensation is 6. Yeah, it'll have, and then you get 2 native recoil compensation on top of that, and then your strength divided by 2 or 3 recoil compensation as well. So recoil's not going to affect it until so at least the what... third pass. Uh, until it's basically from its next shot, it'll start suffering full recoil. First shot. Yeah. Drones are equal compensation equal to. But if you've, but if didn't you say the the compensation was like eight already, and it's only inflicting six recoil? I don't know. It's not going to matter in the first round anyway. We'll we'll, we'll worry about it next round. Um, so it opens fire with six dice, three for its sensor. Three for its program. Bam, 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 bam. That is a pair of two successes. Uh, what was the, how many dice does Andre lose to his dodge? It's firing like full on, full auto. I think it's like minus 10. Negative 10. Nasty. Let me confirm that. Good what idea. The, uh, what uh, the full auto complex. Yeah, if he uses a complex action to do full auto, he gets a minus nine. No, negative nine dice to your dodge, Andre. This is dangerous. What's the native recoil compensation for a drone? Sorry, um, Neo. Uh, I think they get it equal to like body or body times two. Okay, cool. Let okay. Me 
successes. So it rolled, what, two successes? You get two successes on your die pool. It's a grazing hit, I'm pretty sure. Just wait, say that again? I think when you get two successes to dodge and I get two successes to hit, it's what's called a grazing hit, yes, which does no damage unless you're using poison or electricity or some other bizarre. That's correct. Doesn't, uh, doesn't my gymnastic score just... Uh... Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, that's correct. If it ties, it's a grazing hit. So if you're using like a splash or a chemical weapon, it m would still hit them, but it does no damage. So it stings you as it bleeds and it cuts across your arm and tears at your shirt. But apart from the fact that you've been blooded, you're otherwise unharmed. Something that is harmed is the paper wall, which is completely torn to shit. And uh, it also wakes everyone up. Also, if you're using tracker rounds, I think you need to make an edge test to see if the tracker round sticks. Okay, cool. On a grazing. Oh, well, these are not tracker rounds. Um, the Doberman um, will hold its movement for, for later initiative passes. Ricochet, there's heavy machine, well, light machine gun fire going on. Sounds like they have everything under control. I'll stay out here. Hmm. Uh, no, I'll run through the door. Um, can I see what's going on inside through the fact that Andre's in there? Because he's wearing um, helmets as well, and I think the guards all could see what he other, each other could see. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you've got a bit of a visual, yeah. Yeah, I guess you do. We cut the guard's vision. Uh, oh, that's right. Vision. We've cut it. Yeah, we've, yeah thank you. Did, we, yeah. did we have team visuals as well through the boxes that got Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have visual Basically, friends. yeah. You have full on like first person shooter heads up display. Yeah. Like you got team life bars and all that shit. Like, all right. So I know it's a drone. I know you see that work. Andre's life bar gets reduced to 99%. <laughs> <laughs> um,. Sorry, where's the drone on the map? Is it on the map? Oh, yeah, I see it. Um, yeah, he's down here. Yeah. Um, how do you do the ping thing? I can't remember. Hold the button, left, button, left click. No, it's not working for me. Oh, hang on. Probably because I got the wrong thing on. Yeah, that's it. All right, sweet. That's a wall that there, isn't there? The yeah, that's button, right. Pa the second room. Paper wall, it's probably just been destroyed, so I'll get rid of that paper wall. All right. Uh, has the guard that was in this room been neutralized yet? <laughs> no, but he's woken up, presumably, unless the guy's fucking dead. No, that's all right. So I am going to think, run. So that's seven meters to there. Brilliant. And then three meters. Just over three meters to there. Yeah. So that will be just past my walking pace. So that means I will have to, I'll be at running, but not sprinting. And I'm going to probably just crash through the wall. Brilliant. Actually, fuck it. I'll just crash through both of those walls so it's a straight line. <laughs> Which means I'm probably still at wall. Actually, no, no, running's better anyway. And I'm going to charge this dude and. Try and hit him with a um, stun button. All right, because he is now awake, he can dodge, but because he's lying down, you get plus two dice to hit. Yep, and I also get plus two for charging because I was running. All right. Uh, so that is... He dodges with three dice. Uh, uh, we get three successes on the dodge. All right, so I've got three net successes, which means I'm doing 12 stun with minus five AP. So <laughs> body plus four. Right. He has no armor because he does not sleep in his armor vest. <laughs> he gets one success to resist. All right, so that is 11 stun. If he's not knocked out, he's going to be pretty close. He is knocked out because they don't employ trolls around here because 
trolls smell funny and have bad taste in music. Hey. Lol. You're an orc, aren't you? Yeah, but I still listen to troll trash music. Yeah, well, you all got a trash as well, that's why. <laughs> and orcs and trolls is like cousins. Yeah, exactly. They're both degenerates that belong in the in the sewer. Leave us trogs alone. I'm sorry. It's just that my race rules. All right. Um, is that the end of your go? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, complex action to do a melee attack, so. Brilliant. Guard two's down. I'm trying Fenway. I'm trying to make a joke slow way, um, but it's not very funny. So I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I had never tried. Fenway, what are you doing? I'm not even the slowest person here. Not even. That would be Slowman. Oh, that one works. Oh, that Congratulations. Works, yeah. I moved my I moved my twelve meters. So is a Fenway like the opposite of a highway? Ah, uh, I think so. All right. Well, a, a fen is a lower marshy, like, land, so I guess you can't move quickly through that. That's right. Slowman in the swamp. So I will use a complex action to cast increase reflexes. Brilliant idea. And it's a good opportunity to see how spell casting works. So roll and if you magic. really want, we can now work out what happens when you do this in mid-initiative, and we probably better, because it's probably going to come up again. It's, it's I... really simple. You just immediately oh. change, modify your initiative to the new value. That's pretty simple. Yeah, like, it doesn't like increase it by one or something, doesn't it? Or like... uh, I believe it'll give you an extra dice. Yeah, so... an extra d6. Yeah, that's so what you'll just be. roll the d6. I'll yeah, use four, six. Well, no. It's not one Three. d6. How many successes did you get? I haven't cast it yet. Oh, Andre knows it pretty well. Andre? Okay, so Up you're going to roll it. Okay, so that's three then extra I'll do dice. Train first. Six yeah. to your... So it's plus okay. six initiative, plus three extra dice. And I take two uh -huh. train. So you're now the fastest dude here. So did you get that, um, as Andre explained it? Yeah, because I think it, it's for every two success, I get one d6 initiative. Yep. Up and to 5d6. And plus 1 for each success. So you got plus 3d6, plus 6. And I and I have, on the stun thing, I I have 3 stun damage now. Uh-huh. Excellent. So do I just take minus 1 to all my rolls as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, um... Your condition modifier will show you that, yeah, you're at negative one for basically everything now. Okay, so what's your new initiative once you roll those extra d6s? So it is... My initiative is six plus... 46, right? So just roll another 3d6. Seven. Cool. So add so seven. 13 to your initiative. Yeah, 7 plus 6 is 13. Add 13 to your initiative. So your initiative will now be 24 if you want to manually adjust that. I'm on the big map. I can't see. Oh, of course you can't. Okay, cool. So Am I close enough to be on the little map now? It, it adjusted anyway. Did someone else do that? Yeah, I just jumped in and did it quickly. All right, cool. So you did it. Uh, am worry. I close enough to be with the cool kids now? Oh, uh, yeah, I think you are, actually. Yeah, um, you'll be right at the very edge. Let's see how far away from the front door you are. Yeah, an important thing to remember, okay. though, Fenway, you need to sustain that spell to keep the effect, so you will be at minus two. I have uh, focus concentration. Ah, cool. So it's sustaining for you. You're not actually close enough to be um, on the You'll only <laughs> have focus concentration at, like, rating three or four, though, won't you? It's rating two. So it can only sustain a force two spell. I most. thought I thought it was like two spells. No, no, no. That's the force of the spell it can sustain. Oh, okay. That didn't work the way I thought it would, but never mind. Otherwise, that would yeah. be insanely good. That's, that's what this um again this tutorial is for discovering stuff like this. Um, not quite close enough to be on the main map, but at least you move up the initiative tracker. 
All right. The Naga. Yeah, I thought it was one of them. Okay, give me a moment. They're pretty complex creatures. Um, okay. Um, no one's asked for receiving are they except presumably the spirits mm -hmm. no okay omen this is your first and only go what will you do okay um and this is the second round yeah okay so um you, so you have your so your movement is refreshed yeah um that's all right i only have four meters i believe Two times two. Yeah, that's basic. So cool. uh, that's all right. Uh, I'll move. Uh, they kind of got that stuff on lockdown, and he realizes he should, probably shouldn't be rather doing this this way. He's going to start heading back towards the ship or the, the, yeah, sure. the boat. Um, and like, just a quick, quick jaunt into the square. I'm um, a mage. I've done my job. Yeah. Um, at this point, No, he's not going to drop it yet. Um, I'm going to use a... I'm pretty sure it's a complex action to summon another spirit. All right. I believe. I'm pretty sure. How do you reduce like, a stun damage? Sorry? How do you reduce stun damage? I can't. I hear stun damage, but nothing else. What are you how, saying? How do you reduce it? Reduce stun damage? You do resist it. So it's just, I just have it forever? Like, how do I get rid of it? You wake up, like, like have, oh, have you a just rest, rest. Have a coffee, yeah, you go to sleep. take a nap, masturbate, yeah. you know, all these things are useful. This, you could use yeah, think... slight patches as well. Yeah. Um, you roll body yeah, possible power once per hour, and you reduce your current stun damage by that much. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I think like in D&D, &D, you have two uh, hit point trackers, you have your physical health, and you have your stun health. You know? And you reheal them through different means, but and usually you, by you taking. You can't steal like, stun damage with magic. That's what I'm looking. Can. Uh, generally not. No. No. Uh, oh, there's an analogy that I really like, and that's the boxing ring. If you think of a boxer, he gets the shit beat out of him each round, and when he goes back to his corner, he's not recovering from the physical injuries, but the stun injuries. Mm. That's how I look at it. Yeah. He's yeah, getting rid of the dizzies, you know. Exactly, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Getting his senses back. He stops seeing stars. He's still got a broken jaw, but the, the brain injury is kind of beginning to recover. That's that's how I look at it. But uh, it doesn't answer your question, but that's still an analogy I like. But it seems Resist Spain would be a good spell to get then. Which spell? Resist Pain. It doesn't heal it, but it allows um... you to ignore the penalty. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, potentially. Yeah, I guess I've, I've not thought of it like that, but yeah, that is a creative way of of dealing with yeah. the disadvantages. That, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what it spells. But then, spell then you got to sustain the spell. It is permanent. Um, actually, then I got to do. Oh, you mean the not the not the spell, but rather the the quality? Is that what you mean? No, the... there's a spell yeah. that resists pain, and it's. Right. Permanent. Yeah, okay, so just so you know, permanent spells, you don't cast it, then it's done. You still have to sustain them. You yeah. sustain them for a period of time, and then it becomes permanent. So that's that, so a health spell, when you cast it, you need to sustain it for a number of combat rounds for the spell to stick. Oh, okay. Which is why oh, heal is more commonly used after the fight than in the middle of the fight. You can use you can use hits on the test to reduce the amount of time you sustain it for and stuff, but yeah, even permanent spells require sustaining first. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah 
I was gonna summon a Force Three um, Fire Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I'm right, because I'm controlling the guy and the sh holding this thing, I have two less dice than usual. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Then that's three successes on that. All right, and force what? Uh, I think I said, yeah, force three. Uh, those? None. Okay. So it comes uh, out as force four due to your power, is that correct? Yep. Yep. Um, and as it appears, do I give it an action right then and there? Do I need an action to say something to it? Um, I can't think the that spell thing. description will say. Well, it's it's just summoning it. It's, it's summoning a... I um, think what will happen is it will enter, roll its initiative, but you can't give it any commands. That's yeah. how I think it will happen. Okay, let's do that. Then. Because summoning the, the summoning is a complex action, and um, yeah, giving it an order would all, would be a simple action. I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know that, and you're going to have to check that out. But we'll yeah, assume something that for to now. something to to research. I'll write that down. So. All right. So if you you're going to have to probably make up these as characters in the pets and effects. Yeah. Um, once you once you get an idea for the sort of spirits that you guys are going to want to use repeatedly, you'll probably find yourselves using them all the time because spirits are really. Um, but in any case, our fire spirit is now manifest. Okay. Um, fire spirits. Three d six. And it's going to manifest physically. All right. Um, so give it an initiative then, based on its physical manifestation, and we'll add that in. Force times two. Sixteen total. If it's All a right, really, cool. really quick verbal communication, it is a free action. But is a verbal action and a command the same thing? Um, probably not. I don't think you so. Go, you go command spirit, simple action. There we go. Cool, cool. However, important note, you can command a group of spirits at one simple action. Matthew, it's only right. as a complex oh, action. So you've got so like six everything. beasts, so you could like kill that guy? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, some, like some sort of druid, yeah. All yeah. right. F 15 force cool. level one, like... Squirrels descend from the trees. Precisely. And resisting that. Um... The dog uh, is trained to kill. It's also trained not to fear drones, so it's going to try to kill the drone. Not a great idea, dog, but we admire your tenacity. I think that worked, but never mind. All right, so a drog can run at a speed of eight, which seems absolutely pathetic. I, I mean, that's like oh, that's almost a... my speed. Yeah, but it's a dog, man. Dog should be faster than people. Surely. I know. That, I mean, that should was the point. Through a fucking wall and grab my drone. Oh, shit. That's exactly right. It runs up towards uh. <laughs> the, uh, the the balsa wood wall. And just smashes through it to try to, to 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 catch you like a fucking frisbee straight out of the. Uh, one note: my drone is technically invisible. Oh, is it? Like technically, yeah, it's actually. Close. All right. I'll um. The, the dog can smell, and so I'll give it a um. So let's say skills, perception, smell, um. I uh, yeah, um I'll I'll give it spend its action trying to sniff you out. Exception smell five plus two. I don't really know what that means. Five plus two in brackets after it. Oh, that's the smell. So perception is five. Perception smell is seven. Yeah, specialization. Yeah, yeah. Um, I assume it's going to be intuition. Yeah, it'd surely be intuition. So. A dog has an intuition of four. It has a smell of seven. It's going to be 11 dice. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to need to find you though. I get one, two, three, four successes. That's not that doesn't sound like a lot. Um, any idea what I need to find your drone? I have an eek, but that I mean, an opposed drone make a ton of sense to me for something trying to smell me. Um, I I'd, I'd say just because I don't know four successes is enough to smell gunpowder and maybe detect the muzzle flash. So it, it probably sees. Yeah, so it's a good call. So it probably knows that you're there, but not exactly where you are. Maybe it's right underneath you, barking, barking, barking. But um, it, it's, it's like trying to, a dog trying to catch a fly out of the sky. It just snaps its jaws almost randomly without ever actually catching. All right. That's the dog's go. Um, Sexbot wakes up and blinks her blue eyes. Andre. I will move to here. Is there a drone operator in this door? No, no, the drone is running on autopilot. It's um, oh, is there a drone operator? Like a um, I I see what you're what you're asking. There's a I forgot that there was a wall there. There is a giant snake. I guess that's a drone operator. I will uh. Hit the snake with as my... you um as you raise your sight, the snake communicates with you telepathically. I mean you no harm. I disbelieve. You disbelieve the illusion? Oh. Like <laughs> No, I just think she's lying. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, no, bullshit. You're not even with <laughs> All right. Um, you've had a nightmare of a giant snake, and in that nightmare, you killed the snake. I don't. What does that mean? Uh, you go ahead and uh, take your action. Well, in the last session, you had a nightmare where you killed a big snake. All right. So, uh, uh, it, it, how, it, it's a gel round. So it's plus two, uh, AP. All right, so firing a pistol in in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, basically, is that right? I don't think that part matters, but uh, yeah. the gel yeah. round just... I, what does that do? Like, add one to her damage resistance? If she's wearing a... Uh, yeah, it changes the damage type to stun and gives them an extra point of armor to resist. Yeah. That's what I was trying to communicate. Cool. So only, reaction... But only, only if they're wearing armor. First to dodge. Okay, so it gets one, two, three, four, five successes on the dodge. So it's going to be two net hits. Is that That's right? Yes. And um, the Naga has armor naturally. The thick scales are as strong as steel. Um, so she gets quite a lot of dice to resist with an extra plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so she gets eight on her eight successful resistance. What does that reduce the damage to? Um uh uh, I think. Two? Uh, one. Eight resist versus nine damage. Yeah, one. One stun. It does not seem to have really affected the creature. The Yakuza operator is the only one who's still awake. Ah, oh, I forgot about the uh, the guy taking a poo poo. We'll roll him too. Okay, you lose control of your spell, um, Omen. Has mm -hmm. um, does it take his action to snap out of it, or does it happen at the start of his turn or the end of his turn? Anyone know? Complex action. 
complex action. Thank you. All right. So he realizes, here I am, naked in the toilet. Uh, what am I doing? I am not having a shower. And um, realizes that something is up. Ed um, grabs his gun as a simple action. He gets up out of bed, which I don't think is a simple action. I'm pretty sure it's movement. And um, stumbles out where he sees Andre. But there's also like heavy machine gun fire firing everywhere. So he's uh, a little bit subdued in that regard. But um, pops up out of bed, simple action to grab the gun and fires. Bullets flying everywhere. Andre, you'll have um, an extra two. Uh, or rather, he'll lose two dice to shoot you due to the pretty heavy cover and the fact that he doesn't want to expose himself to the heavy machine. All right, so he opens fire. Zero successes. He misses, but it's not a glitch. He just puts his bullets into the wall. Uh, maybe he's trying to shoot a guy who's five foot rather than a guy who's three foot five. Okay, all systems go. That was the end of the first pass. Congratulations, welcome to Shadowrun. Did we survive? I will now reduce, well, I will now reduce everyone's initiative by 10, and we will start all that again. Come on, beast. Man, roll 20 doesn't always fucking work. I'm down. Man, so annoying. But like, you click on the interface and the interface just doesn't react the way it's meant to react. Can anyone, I've reduced the, the initiatives down up to the, including the Panther. Can anyone else do the other ones? It's not working for me. I press the press it and just, the interface just won't accept it. Uh, worked for me once on the Spirit, got the Spirit. The man spirit, the drone. Come on, won't do it. Just won't. What can I do it? Oh, this program annoys me so much. I'm not doing any like, wrong. Do you know anything about like Foundry, like virtual tabletop? No, um, no. I, I know. I don't really know anything about any of the alternatives. Uh, it's. I mean, I use it for Warhammer Fourth Edition. It's actually really good. Okay. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay, I finally got it. Ricochet, if I click a thousand times, it'll, it worked eventually. Okay, cool. Captive Naga worked the first time, and Omen is on zero. Everyone else after the Omen is also zero. Okay, cool. So, whoo, Mage Geeker, there is a dog underneath you jumping and barking and yapping and leaping. Aim his gun downward and uh, put it out of its misery. It's or at least into sleepy night mode. But weren't you given orders not to kill? All right. You put the dog to sleep. You, you killed that dog. No new one for you. Exactly. Um, I'll give you an extra three dice to attack because the dog can't see you. I'll still give him his dodge roll. But we'll compensate that with you getting an extra three dice. So if you want to add an extra three D six to that, you can go ahead. Sure. Cool. Hey guys. Yeah. What do you think the odds are this drone has something in it? It's on autonomous, yeah? I no, Godfather's hot simming it. No, 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 no. Their drone, the dog. The, oh, yeah. Doberman. Mm. You want you want to prevent the animatronic dog? What do you reckon the odds are that it's got some kind of safe target system to not shoot the tank? Well, it's indiscriminately firing. I probably wouldn't take the risk, but heck, yeah. All right. 
So it's always a possibility. It just depends on how much forethought they put into it. Yeah. It could go by looking at it. I mean, look, they've got a pretty rare awakened snake in here. I think they would have prioritized it over the... Six that hits on the dog. Twelve stone, minus nice. five AP. All right, the dog um, has no armor, only four body. Single success, dog is lights out. And that'll be physical overflow. And sure Geppetto's going to use the rest of move circle around the building to Roger, roger. I'm just going to assume your character's real name is Geppetto. Like, that's not his code name. That's his, like, he's Geppetto Giovanni or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I call him that? Yeah. yeah. God damn it. I, I, I just smoked that. I, I, I think it's that. You've been much better today, though. Yeah, this is the only time you've done it. Mr. Fenway. So, stop, so stopping, sustaining a spell is just... How does that work? Simple action, I think. Oh, okay. Or might even be a free action. I'll find out for you. Yeah, might be free. Because I'm at minus three at the moment. Minus three means minus six. Is that what? Oh no, 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 no. I understand. Minus two from a spell. Minus one from a wound. Yeah, minus yeah. three. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well done. That's that's good tracking. Because like I can move fast. But I'll fail anything. I think, you only, I think you only get a penalty after like four boxes of stun damage or something. Oh, on uh, my, on my four, thing, it's, it shows a, like three, like three boxes. Yeah. Every three boxes it, is penalty. Yeah, and I, I think three it boxes. depends on how much you've got to start with, doesn't it? Like I, I don't know. If, no, if, if you no. the, the more boxes you have, the more penalties you can get. Right, 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 right. right. Because yeah, I tried to summon a spirit last time, failed to summon the spirit, and got drain. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it is a concern. You are at three dice down for whatever you plan to do next. I was thinking just stop sustaining the spell, and then just like, bring up a spell I can actually sustain without penalty. Cool. So I guess we need to know whether or not it's a complex or... Oh, sorry, rather a simple or free action to drop as well. Just so I know, like, with the increased like, reflexes, if I do a force 2, force ref like, increased reflexes, that will increase my dice by 1d6, right? What was that, sorry? If I use a force 2, increased reflexes, that will increase my initiative by 1d6, right? Assuming you get the two successes, which you're almost guaranteed to do, yes. It'll be plus 2, plus 2, plus 1d6. Now, naturally, you can't increase your reflexes further than what you've already done. You can't, like, increase no, reflexes. He's, he's, he's talking about dropping the current one and recasting it at a lower oh. point. So I don't get the so minus two? Um, focus concentration can sustain it for him instead. You're still going to get the minus two because you'll be sustain sustaining a new spell. No, no, no. Like no. He's, he's got an edge that can sustain a spell for him, but only up to oh. two. Yeah, I thought it was two oh. spells. Right, right, right. So right. Like... Yeah, so, yeah, if you want to do that, you can. Yeah, uh, it's the, 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 the uniqueness of the situation that, that, that confused me. Yeah. yeah, so can I just drop? Is it for you to drop the spell? Has anyone looked it up? I'm trying to find it now, yeah. You can, if you're able to have a look as well, Fenway, that'll probably help. Ah, okay. Scrolling through the spells. Uh, 
Uh, it's a free action. Uh, oh, okay. Page one seventy nine. All right. Thank you very much. Um, cool. I was um, yeah. I hadn't even gotten past the index page. So I forward. will drop that spell. Cool. And recast the spell at Force Two. All right. So you've still got your beast spirit, um, but you um. Does, does having a beast spirit summon reduce the dice pool as well? It doesn't, does it? No, no. No, I didn't think so. Just, yeah, just one go check. Ooh, I dropped. I got two successes. As you can tell, I am powerful wizard. Bye bye, Groovy. All right. Okay, and it is um, uh, two drain. All right, so you go ahead and uh, if you can't resist two drain, you might want to get a new job. See, I, I can resist two drain. Totally, you can totally resist two drain. What are you talking about? I am best wizard. <laughs> You're saving your successes for when you need them. That's right. Yeah, conservative, like a good wizard should be. All right, so um, you cast your spell at force two. You were able to sustain this one without any further penalty. And you've in, but but your initiative will change again. Do you want me to let's add one DC? Um, How's that work? Well, yeah, you had to reduce your initiative when the spell was stopped being sustained. Yeah, so you lose all of those extra initiatives now. Yeah, but I mean, I don't have the minus so, two anymore. So this, the, yeah, so this is how it'll work. Roll your initiative fresh with the increased reflexes. Do you understand how that works? Yeah, so it's so go six ahead and do that. plus 2d6. Yep, go ahead and do that. This is going to be unnecessary, but 11. still, it's a good demonstration. So you get an 11. Two initiative passes have passed, so you get an 11, negative 20. So that's below zero. Bingo. Yeah. So that's the end of your interaction in this initiative this chain. All right. The beast spirit still stands there doing nothing. Uh, the yeah, man spirit stands there doing nothing. The drone. And I'm saying, spirits have essentially like infinite like range, don't, like movement, don't they? More or less, yeah. Wow, you can man. send them around the other side of the world, yeah. Like, well, not manifest, I mean. Yeah. The drone repositions itself uh, for one reason or another and um, uh, lines itself up so that um, it's able to fire upon Andre um, once again. Now, at this point, sorry for moving, at this point, recoil becomes important. Um, it's still firing on fully automatic. Um, can anyone? What were the calculations for that? Uh, recoil wise or dodge wise? Yeah, that's right. The, how much recoil uh, is it? Uh, I remember the dodge is negative nine. Um, there was a lot of compensations and things that I didn't quite yeah. understand when we were talking about it last time. Basically, whenever you start firing, you uh, take your recoil compensation, however high that is, and yep. count the number of bullets you're firing. Um, right. Every bullet subtracts one from your recoil compensation. When you run out of recoil compensation, every bullet you fire after that gives you a minus one penalty to the attack. All right, so it fired 10 last round. If it fires another 10 this round, it will be at negative six. Six for... Six. Uh, or it's six bullets for a full auto complex. Oh, it's only six. I thought it was ten. Right, right. No, no, no. Six for a simple. Ah, that's right. My bad. But hang on, hang on again. Don't machine guns have like an extra, a special recoil rule? Or am I thinking of a different game like Robotech? Uh, if you're suppressing fire, you don't have to worry about recoil. Cool. Uh, but that's a special thing. Well, he's not suppressing fire. So, once again, full Orly automatic into Andre. Recoil compensation is six, so I think I lose four dice. Is that in, right? 
in older versions, Matt, I don't think it's in this one, but in older versions, machine guns double uncompensated recoil is what you'd be thinking. Right. Like. So I'm thinking of fourth edition, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because yeah, I, I did remember that. Yeah, that's that's right. Machine guns have half; they only suffer from half the recoil as as other weapons. No. Anyway. Double. Double. Double was it? Okay, double. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to control. So, Recoil compensation mean six means negative four to its attack. Is that right? I think so. That sounds right. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, Andre still gets negative nine to dodge, though. So um, let's see how we do. A single hit with a heavy with a light machine and a point blank. You'll only need one success on your dodge, Andre, but you have negative nine dice to dodge. And uh, do I still use my gymnastic towards dodging? It's reaction intuition, I'm pretty sure. Unless you yeah, have some unless special you, power. Yeah. Reaction. There's a specific quality that lets you use gymnastics, I think, but otherwise it's reaction. Plus no, it's one of the... You can take a dodge action to add your gymnastics to your defense test. But that'll be do that'll do your action, won't it? The next uh, yeah, yeah. It, it takes, your it, by yeah. minus five. That's right. Yeah, it's an interrupt action, so you can subtract five from your initiative to get the bonus. Well, and because he it. doesn't have any initiative left, he can't do that. Uh, it can send you into negative initiative, but once you're in negative initiative, you can't do it anymore. Well, he's already in negative initiative because he was yep. on nine like, or yeah, seven. No, so yeah, so he can't to... do it. Yeah. Okay, so well, this is the second. This is the second pass for the initiative round, right? Um, but you you had an initiative of I think nine. You used your pass. You went down to negative one because ten nine negative ten is negative one. So there's no longer any action points for you to spend your action going further into negatives to dodge. You can only use your initiative plus for your reaction. My yeah, reaction plus, plus intuition. My reaction. Yeah. In the intuition, yeah. sorry, sorry, your intuition plus reaction. And it will be a negative nine dice because of fully automatic five. I, I only have six dice. Sounds like an edge roll or just take to hit. I don't. Even with my edge, I don't have enough dice. I think is doesn't it, it, the, the chance dice still exist? Is that a is that still a thing where even no, if you're down to zero, you can roll like one d six? Again, yeah. maybe wrong game system. All right. I've cool. never cool. heard of that. It sounds fun. <laughs> it must be Vampire. That's White Wolf. <laughs> yeah. All right. Totally wrong game, game system. All right. Um, I guess you take the hit then. And um, um, if there's no way of you possibly dodging, what's the damage on an Ingram Valiant? Nine. Nine physical resisted by your armor. Oh, what's the, what's the armor piercing? Uh, I think it was two. Yeah, it was all right. Hard. So, uh, uh, resistor nine, nine damage, nine physical damage. What is it's because I got a hit. Is that one net hit boosting it up to 10? That's right, right? That's right. Yeah, one, one hit is one net hit, so it becomes 10 damage with net with two armor piercing. Woo! Are you physically incapacitated? Hold on. So that'll be nine damage, so you should be fine, hopefully, just. Yeah, I'm at, uh, what are the black boxes? Those are your overflow? Hello? Uh, anyone, anyone know? No, no idea. So yeah, if, if, you've, uh, if, yeah. if you've lost all of your physical, then you're, you're out. Yeah, I think all I have is flow and dead back. Like, all right. Wait, so
I sort of was like reading something for like someone dying. Uh, he's unconscious. Oh, okay. Not dead yet. He copped a single machine gun bullet, and that fucking sucked. No, no, it would no, kill no. He, he copped a full auto burst. <laughs> oh, not really though. Like, like, well, in my opinion, when it's only like minimum damage, he probably only coughed one bullet, and the rest of them all went astray. That's that's how I interpret it, at least. And let me tell you, a single fucking seven point six two millimeter round at a range of two meters is going to rip you to pieces. Not all the time, but potentially. Anyway. Anyway. Sad music for a sad situation. The um, uh, flame uh, elemental doesn't have any commands, I don't think, because he was only just summoned, right? Uh-huh, that's correct. Perfect. Ricochet, man down. Wow. Child down. I mean, you know, do, you, do you take child, children on shadow runs, or do you take men? Uh, all right, I'm, I'm, I got nothing for this. I got nothing. All right, uh, I'm gonna move over here. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the base of the tank? Does the tank go all the way to the floor, or does it have some kind of base? It has a small base, but the base is probably no more than about eight inches high, about uh, uh, twenty-five okay. centimeters, and um, it goes almost to the roof, but not quite. There's a clearance of about. 45 centimeters. That's fine. There's not really the, I mean, the walls here are paper, so there's not really any they cover are. anywhere. No, not really. Um, the closest we've really got to cover is the tank. All right. Um, because at least water will slow the bullets. Yeah. And the glass. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. It's minimal, but it's better than not, zero. Not that I want to be standing next to it when it gets shot, but anyway, um, I'm hoping it has some kind of. Don't shoot the tank programming. Uh, I'm going to use the HK that I picked up off the guard to do a shot at the drone. All right. At least, very least, draw its attention. Because I probably won't be able to hurt it. Uh, what kind of HK is it, sorry? 223. Two, two, Standard submachine gun. With regular, regular ammunition. You got it. Uh, I'm going to do a full auto burst. Uh, not great with automatics. Uh, does it have any uh, accessories like lasers or anything on them? No, um, just the, it's a smart link. There's a smart link, but it's linked to the goggles. It's not an internal smart link. External smart link. Uh, I'm wearing the goggles, so... All right, this extra plus one dice, I believe. Uh, no, it's plus one accuracy. Oh, that uh, all? Okay. Is, is the wireless enabled? Actually, the wireless probably is enabled, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's just plus one die as well. All right, cool. Cool. I'm still garbage, though. <laughs> Whoa. What, and you're firing at the drone? Firing at the drone on full auto. All right, the drone has a small amount of chance to, or rather, I guess it's not too bad a chance to dodge, really. Um, minus nine for the sensor. full auto. Minus nine well, for the full auto. Then it can't succeed. Uh, so it's got to resist nine. All right, let's have a look with at that. A, with an AP of one. It's got body four, armor four, so, so that'll be seven, seven dice. Three successes, four nets. Uh, three successes, so he takes, yeah, four. Four damage. No, five, sorry, five. Five damage. All right, cool. No, um, six. Six, sorry, because my net success makes it nine. So it was nine damage, minus three, six damage. All right, how do I keep track of the, their body? If he has a bo their, their hit points. He has a body of four. Does that mean 11 hit points? He should have 10, I believe. 10. Because it's All right. 8 plus 1 for 2 every 3 body, I think. All right, Unless cool. Unless drones are different, which they probably are. I don't think they are. I'm pretty sure they just... I think it's all one simple system, but I'm not sure of that, but I thought so. Uh, I think it's just body times 2. 
Body times two. All right, so Body nine. times two. Okay, cool. So and you and you did six damage, so it's looking pretty much fucked, but still operational. All right. Captive Naga looks down at the child and sighs. It tried to explain to him that that was that that um, it meant no harm, but then humans are such reckless creatures. It wraps the boy up in its uh, coils as if to crush him like an egg. All right, everyone gets a negative 10 on their initiative, which brings us to Mage Geeker. Um, Giuseppe. Godfather. <laughs> Is anyone receiving me? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Godfather is going to be like, oh shit, uh, pull his drone back and, uh, is Andre technically prone right now? Fuck oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he's, he's wrapped up by up. the coils of the of the of the, the serpent. Uh, so not only is he prone, he's like engulfed. I think that's the term is engulfed. Okay. Then uh, Godfather's going to open up with uh, suppressing fire. All right. And now you keeps its head down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything that doesn't drop prone uh, basically runs the risk of catching lead. Let me double check. And you're still invisible. Are you invisible to electronic sensors? No, no, he's just ruthenium. Yeah, it's just least? chameleon cloaking. Uh, right. So yeah, it's just like physical camouflage. Right, 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 so, right. So thermo and stuff can still penetrate it. Excellent, excellent. That's um, yeah, good. To, I'm glad I uh, sort of understand it. All right, so you lay down your suppressing fire. Um, the beast spirits well, obviously not going to do anything. The only one with an action left. Oh, I thought the Doberman had an action. Did I just reduce it too far? I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh, no, he got reduced to eight this round, I believe. He went from eighteen to eight or something like that. Yeah, I thought I thought the initi yeah the Doberman was the only one who still had an initiative left. Or do you have one as well, Ricochet? You don't, do you? No, I think it's just Mage Geeker. He, sh he was the only one I think. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I thought. I, I thought yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, so Doberman is the only one who strikes back. He sees the drone up in the air, targets it immediately. So does that mean that he is subjected to the suppression fire? Uh, the way it works is anything in the cone that's not prone has to make a uh, that's not behind cover or prone uh, it's neither. has to make a reaction test or uh, yeah so it just rolls reaction plus edge if it doesn't meet the threshold which is five uh, it just takes the weapons damage so it's not going to reach the threshold because it has no edge and its reaction is not that high um, so I guess it takes the weapons damage immediately Yeah, as does the the naga. Naga goes prone. It it, it it hits the ground. Yeah, and it also covers the boy um, to protect him from any gunfire as well. All right. Did it spend uh, initiative to do that? Oh, it cannot spend its initiative to do that. No. All right. So um, the drone suffers full damage because it doesn't even want to to hide. Um, yeah. Um, they both take uh, six uh, six stun minus five armor pierce. Six negative five. Okay, that's cool. Um, the drone. Well, the drone stun's not going to matter so much because the damage it's taken so much is, so far is physical. Um, uh, if a drone takes electric damage, it counts as physical. Oh, does it really? Okay, cool. Um, and these are and stick and shock are electric rounds. Okay, yeah, I understand how that works. I was aware that they took damage from electricity, but I didn't realize that your gun wasn't electric. 
ammunition, but I'm sticking shock, makes sense. Anyway, so armor and body, which I guess, guess is what it gets to resist with. Uh, negative five, not gonna help. Um, single success, blows the, the Doberman to smithereens. What, one short more circuit, and it explodes. Yeah, it does have one more die. You're right, it's not gonna matter, but I'll roll it for, because you are absolutely correct. Okay, the Naga, on the other hand, and this might make a little bit of a difference. Um, so, negative five armor, correct? Yes. That's pretty yeah, tough. That's right. But the Naga still has a significant chance of enduring it. It gets only two successes. So uh, how much damage done? Uh, four. All right, the Naga is still conscious. Uh, the drone does not have a go because the drone has been destroyed. Okay, I'll put Fenway on this main map finally. And... Um, I oh, know he's already down here anyway. That'll do. So everyone roll. Um, uh, I'll put uh, you guys back here. All right, cool. Fresh initiative. Um, for your spirits as well, if you want to add them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll bring down a little fire spirit for you. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Hey, not a bad one. Finally got two turns. Um, um just a quick question. That's the spirit of man I I got. Um, uh, does anyone know if it takes anything just to just to release it? Is it like a simple, simple action? Simple action, and it doesn't like. Does it then become a free spirit and does what it wants, or does it just go back to the that spirit? Goes back. Goes back. Okay, cool. Um, I have to do that. Um, that's fine. That's good. Um, then I won't even bother rolling his initiative. No worries. Not a problem at all. All right. Are we all down? Uh, the, the beast spirit got a nine. That's my fire spirit. Do we still have a shade? Or a shade faded away? Not in World Twi not in Discord. No, he isn't either. Probably tech issues. Completely offline, so I um, might have had a had an issue. All right, we will imagine that Shade knocked themselves out with their own flashbang. Amateurs, right? right? I know. All right, Mage Giga. Uh, he's going to make uh, one more full auto uh, uh, attack on the uh, Naga. Brilliant. So Has the Naga had the opportunity to, to attack? Like, is it attacking or is it just sort of blocking, like, constricting? Just constricting. Well, we've seen him grab the child. That's right. And when a child gets grabbed by a snake, it's, it's fair enough to panic like um it's kind of a human instinct all right agility intuition yeah. is not great yeah. minus nine so it gets two successes on its um dodge roll um on oh, minus nine what yeah. am i even bothering for it only has like six dice i uh, was wasting everyone's time let's just go straight to the armor roll 
Uh, how much uh, armor is that uh, penetration? Five. Minus five. I thought so, but I wanted to check. All right. It resists one, two, three, four of the injuries. That uh, cancels out the net hit, so it's just six done. It's only six, only knocking it comatose. It releases its uh, grip on the dying boy. Shouldn't it be nine? Yeah. Uh, it's six damage, uh, plus the four, and it got four successes, so they cancel out. Oh, I thought just... No, oh, yeah, yeah, sticking check. I'm thinking of one button. Never mind. Omen on the beach. Yeah. Um, Godfather pings the team, and just a picture of a dying Andre. <laughs> um, do you think, uh, I just read up a lot. Of, um, I can't Ooh. actually have two unbound spirits at the same time. Makes so sense. I'm gonna scratch that fire one and act like that didn't happen. Sure. Um, the I'm going to okay. If I um astrally pop out, um, astral projection probably a complex action. Complex action. Okay. I'd say so, but like I don't know that, but I assume so. I reckon it would be, yeah. It would. Be. Um, then my movement becomes the speed of thought, yeah. Yes. And I can pass through walls. Yes, unless they are particular walls, Special. and these walls are those particular walls, but some of the windows are open, which kind of ruins the whole thing. Oh, okay. So my spirit wouldn't even be able to get inside. Can you normally not? Uh, well? let, me, let me. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more, so that uh, even though it take a bit of time, there is a special fiber in the Shadowrun world which is made out of living plants. Right? You you literally have these tiny microscopic plants growing inside your walls, and that's what these dudes have had. It's not very uncommon, but it's pretty uncommon. And um, but these guys have got it. And so normally you wouldn't be able to get your spirit past this living wall, but they left the window open, and we've opened the door. So it compromises the whole thing. It's like having a bank vault with an open window. I okay. mean, barrier with those things is they're expensive because it's a living thing. You need to keep it alive and feed it nutrients. And... Right. Okay. Um, and then just really quick last question. If I'm astrally projecting and my spirit is in there, can then I talk to my spirit while in we're both spirits? Yes. Okay, cool. Then I will astrally project while I'm in the Brilliant. open. I'm fully aware. And I guess this is a new round, so I have movement. Um, I'll try and make my way to the spirit of man. All right. So it's a complex action to, pro to project, mm -hmm. um, but you can still move. You are now beside it. You can't give it the spiritual order because that's a yep. simple action, but you're now there in the room with the sex bot that you probably can barely like, make out. I'm a summoner. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> because we're in a tutorial and we're still learning how to play our characters. Yeah. It's like, I can yeah. have 12 meters per round or infinite movement. Take your pick. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Infinite but on the downside. But inactive on the physical plane. The green ants will start biting you eventually. That's it, yeah. I'm literally just a dead body or a, a, a sitting body in the middle of a fucking random area that anyone can do, abuse, so... Yeah, so you gotta get yourself a, a rigger and... cocoon, my friend. That's yeah, a good well, idea. I was gonna make my <laughs> That's way back literally to what the... they're for. To... Oh, you know, this, this campaign is gonna end up with, like, most of the party just sitting in the truck the whole adventure, <laughs> and then Andre and fucking Ricochet doing all the work. <laughs> that is the end goal, is nobody to have to leave the van. We just roll up okay. and then leave. That's my turn. <laughs> That's in fact, end. why even bother rolling up? Let's just like base ourselves in Bangkok and only two of you will go to the jungle. The rest of you can just sit at home. Just astral project yeah. to like to, to, to like where we need to be every day. It's a brilliant idea. Save that. If I, if I accept that there are a whole bunch of spirits and um, they could ruin your day. So, initiative for my spirit would actually be times two is six. So, is that it? There's everyone on this That's one guy? Yeah. All right. The captive Naga is stunned. <laughs> 
Um, it won't be recovering for a significant amount of time. Fenway, uh, you watch. Uh, you're at the front door, more or less. I'll put you. I, I think I've been like two maybe. meters off of the front door. Yeah, that's it. So um, if you're only two meters off, then I wouldn't be too far away from the front door. Yeah, I'll have a look at the other map. I thought it was a little bit further than that, but um, it, it might have been. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit, but but uh, in any case, you you are where you are, up here at the top of the map. I, I, so, so I I get my movement. Yeah, that's right. So You're... where's where is the door? Is the door like that? No, that's that's a window. That's uh, right. This is the front door. And the front door is currently is, open. It's currently open, and you can probably see Ricochet all straight through it. Uh, he is taking cover behind glass and water. Which you're not a tactical genius, but you don't think glass and water count as cover. Not really. I mean, it's, it has to be like. I mean, it's the best it has, I guess. I well, there it's... you go. We're all very, we're all thinking so positive. Wow, you're not you're not the new little nihilistic shatter on us. If that's by the door, I'll take cover there. Because like, if the yeah. only reason to be taking cover is like there's still an active shooter. Yes, there is, and there is, there's, there's lots of gunfire going on in there. Uh, you probably don't realise that um, we're winning the gunfight, but there is certainly a lot of gunfire going in there. You take cover behind one of the only solid structures in the building, the outside wall. So this works. Right. Fenway and Omen, just so you know, your astral mm -hmm. speed, if you go at your slower walking pace, is 100 metres per combat turn. Mm -hmm. If you want to go at a faster running pace, it's five kilometers per combat turn. Oh, that, that really while, amps. But while you're going at your running pace, you basically everything's just a blur, so you, you can't actually like pay attention to where you are. If you're trying to reach a specific place, you've got to be going at the slower walk. Oh, so it's like elite dangerous yeah. when you're jumping between like planets? Kind of, yeah. Basically, what happens is you think about where you want to be, and your astral form just kind of in that direction. But because you you're going guess. so fast, yeah, because you're going so fast, you can't be like, and then just stop in a specific place. It'll get you approximately, and then you've got to use Work the your way. slower 100 meters per three seconds. Yes, yeah, so, so it's not really, I mean, it, it is still pretty yeah. fast. It was just, yeah, oh, it's yeah. insanely fast, insanely fast. But, but like, in, in a situation like this, you'd be going at the slower rate, because otherwise you'd just be fucking off the island. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. This, it's, it's not like I'm I'm gonna go one kilometer at speed like five over. kilometers north. Five kilometers. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, that is really good to know. Um I'm I'm really glad that we did this sort of um this particular session to, to get uh, it might cost us the character's life, but we're learning. Like is he right. currently like dying or like, or is he he's, like he's pretty... unconscious and bleeding out? So about how many rounds does he have? Like, of movement? Like, how many movements would I have to, like, get to him? It's difficult to say. It's not as simple... Um, yeah, it's not as simple as, as, as other game systems. Um, yeah. I take it there's a door here and here? There is. They are, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, well, yeah, then... The sliding paper doors, paper, yeah, paper walls. The, yeah, they're, they're paper walls, but paper walls slide. So every wall is a door. Does that make sense? You know what a Japanese samurai's yeah. house looks like, right? Yeah, I've, I've watched Doesn't that everybody samurai. know what a Japanese samurai's house looks like? Come on. Okay, I'll, anyway. move, I'll take my last two meters of movement then. And I'm Excellent. About there. You no longer have cover. All right. How, how high Ricochet. is the... Like the glass thing? How high, the, the glass tank reaches from almost the floor, just above the floor, to almost the roof. There's a clearance of about 40 centimetres. Oh, so can I, like, crouch? Yeah, you so, can crouch. Yeah, that's right, you can. And you would be just a distorted, blurry figure. Because um, my idea would be to... And hopefully that guy's been dealt with by the time I get anywhere near there. Sounds like it might be a good plan, but we won't know until we try. All right, Ricochet. Uh, so I'm going to hustle over to the snake slash Andre. All right. 
Yep. Is Walking this guy dead. still alive? Or is he still, like... Sure is. Uh, uh, he got, so. thought he got knocked out by one of the drones or something, didn't he? Or is he still Ooh. fully awake? Yeah, he's still fully he's awake. Still, that, that's why I was being so careful. He's oh, firing at Andre right now. So I yes, thought Andre, you... I thought Andre had taken him out already. No, he, he missed him. He has, he, he's being quite cowardly or maybe tactically smart. And he's keeping his head low while all this fucking machine gun fire fires in this direction and submachine gun fire in this direction. So he just backed off and put a few bullets into the wall. It didn't really do much. Oh, well, in that case, I am crashing through that wall. Because fuck your All right. Now. <laughs> yeah. Damn All right. Man. He's he's got like uh he's just a little bit behind the bed, giving <clears throat> giving him the slightest amount of cover, but it's it's pretty insignificant. Uh, because it's only walking distance, I do not get the charging bonus. So you lose negative one due to his minor cover. He dodges unsuccessfully. He gets two successes on the dodge, so oh, it's a one, one net. Hit. So he's taking which is a graze. No, ten stun. No, graze no, no, on graze. Zero, 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 zero is a graze. Zero is a graze. Yeah, yeah zero is a graze. Of course. So it is. one net right. hit, ten stun, five AP. So he'll be body plus four. Oh no, you said they're not wearing armor. So not body. armor. So just body. Ten. So he's he's taken eight stun. All so right. He will, he will still just barely be conscious. That's right. Minus two penalty on all rolls. All right. That's awesome. Um, and it's his go. So he returns. Um, he grabs a katana that is beside the bed, and that will be his Mother. simple action. Sorry. Motherfucker. Indeed. He's, he's going to, he's going to cut you in half with his sword folded a trillion times. Exactly right. Nippon Steel, he, um, he, he spends a simple action drawing the blade from underneath his bed. And he says, what's that thing that they always say in the memes? Almost I have no, no idea what it means, but he says that. Nani? Uh, <laughs> I think it says you are already dead. Oh, is that what it is? Nani. Because I think the guy who does like he like does like a nerve attack, and then like the guy dies like several moments after he get he getting hit. Brilliant. So he goes like you are okay, already so... dead. The guy goes, I'm not, and then explodes. Uh, so you you do a dodge action, is that right? Like your intuition and reaction. Who hey, me? Yeah, is that how you, yeah. you defend with intuition and reaction, correct? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but he's not attacking. Right. Yeah, simple action to grab the sword, simple action to attack, I think, Com right? Com complex action for a melee attack. Is it really? Yeah. All right, in that case, he takes a simple action to draw the sword and spends the other simple action taunting you with his brilliant, deep Japanese voice. If he'd had it like in a sheath or something, he probably could have tried a quick draw to attack in the same action. All right. Well, he'll try to do that if that's possible. Yeah, which means he's got to take a quick draw test. Okay. Um, which I think is reaction times two, maybe. Uh, quick draw. It is a weapon skill plus reaction. With All a threshold right. of, he needs three successes. Come on! He almost glitches it completely. So he manages to get the blade out long enough, and he gets his little, like, one-line monologue off, but that is the end of his life. That wasn't even a glitch. That would have been a critical glitch. <laughs> almost a critical glitch. All right. Mage Geek, we are in control of this situation. What are we going to do? Um... He's going to move forward and, I suppose, uh, try to assist in uh, this little scuffle here. All right. Uh, he has three rounds left in this magazine, so Brilliant. he's going to uh, do a three-round burst. And Is there any normal penalty for firing at the melee with burst fire? 
Uh, there's a penalty for filing to melee. Let me look it up. Awesome. Um, actually, here we go. Yeah, so ready weapon is a simple action if it's holstered. Complex action if it's not. Right. How interesting. Well, you know, Technically, that would mean it's easier to pick a sword and draw it out of its sheath than it is to just grab it off the ground. Well, yeah, because you've got to bend down to pick it up, whereas, you know, sheath's designed to just... Whoosh, pull it oh, out. right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll and, you know, so, like, I'm going to stand there and be like, yeah, pick up your sword. Yeah. Is that fair? Uh, it's kind of at your discretion. So if it was leaning against the wall right next to him, you could, you could probably be like, ah, yeah, now it's close enough to be considered. Yeah, and that is the, what it is too, because like yeah. it's it's designed for exactly this situation that the, that that paranoid motherfucker who keeps a sword under his bed for that day that he wakes up and there's a dude in his bedroom. And then he fumbles and drops. <laughs> he fumbles and drops it. He got caught on the mattress. He should have kept it next to the bed. Okay, found the uh, rule for firing, firing into melee. Kind of interesting, actually. Um, he actually gets a penalty to dodge it because he's distracted because there's a guy trying to kill him right in front of him. But if nice. I miss, like he beats me on the dodge test, uh, I hit the guy, or I risk hitting the guy he's in melee with, and he has to make a dodge test with the same penalty. That's cool. All right. So what's the penalty? If you burst fight, can you kill both uh, people? Like Axel? Yeah, he gets a minus three for being in melee, and I believe a minus three for the burst. You, you do suppressing fire, and that's a whole other complex pedal of fish. Carrick, if he rolled a critical glitch, or a, then yes. A, or rather, not a critical glitch, but a glitch. If you, ro if you fired burst fire into melee, and you've got a glitch, you would hit, but the glitch might mean, GM discretion, that your friend is hit as well. So there's some way that it might happen. Um, anyway, sorry, I, I, I missed what the penalty was. He has six dice to dodge. What's the penalty? I think it's minus six. To, I think I yeah, it was like minus, minus three. three four. Minus three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So minus six total. Well, we'll um, we just for the sake of it, we'll give him, we'll pretend that he has a point of edge that he spends. Ah, oh, he dodges! Once. But he gets hit anyway. Because of the that successes. Sad. Very sad. <laughs> so that's uh, three plus six, nine damage minus but five. Exploding dice. We forgot about exploding dice. Doesn't. Not you doesn't explode. Okay. It doesn't explode at all. Uh, you ripped this guy into physical damage, right? He only had two stun left, and you just destroy what's left of his bruised body. And he begins, uh, those bruises become bleeding, bloody wounds. I have to choose right. between friends and money with my healing spell. Indeed. I mean, I'm dog, I have to pick my friends. Good call. Well, you've just met us, so technically not friends yet. Uh, you haven't, you've never had a dog, have you? No, no, no not, but, you know, anyway. Anyway. What, what does Mentor Dog Spirit say? Uh, mentor Dog Spirit says, look after the pack. Says, Run with the pack. See, I knew what my, my mentor was thinking. You knew it. All right. So, Omen, you've got your second initiative pass now. Okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this works. I have a slight idea, but uh, I'm going to command my man spirit to use, um, to go find the child and cast heal. Um, because he's level three, I can give him the spell. Because if it's level three, does it get one optional power, I guess? It's one optional, yeah. Can I, so can my I spirit is level three, so I get one optional power as well. Can I just make a suggestion? Uh huh. Let Fenway cast heal, he'll be better at it. Yeah, but like, okay. this is if what, you're just about this... to die, like the the man spirit can get them like one round. It's worth explaining how heal works because so, once you've healed once, you can't heal again. With the yeah. someone can explain this that is, better this than is me. Not D and D. 
Right. But they still want to be something they still don't understand. Now, I've played a lot of systems where, like, you can only use heal on, like, a wound once. Yeah, so basically, yeah. if the spirit goes over and casts heal and gets one success, yeah, right, you now That's can't it. heal him with your much better dice pool. Yeah. So I'm not right. saying what the tactic should be, I just wanted to clarify a rule. So he, sh he could right. heal the other guy, prevent the death, and then I go in and heal the the player character? Okay, so, uh, to ensure other, we still get that bonus? Who's, who's potentially dying? Who else is dying, Nelly? Uh, just no, the just guard and... Up with their submachine gun. Who submachine gunned him? I did. It was with Stick and Shark. I just tased him hard enough that he's in physical over, or he's in physical. Yeah. He's mm. fine though. Oh, so he's not. He's not dying. We don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Like, okay, game term for clarification. No, he's not. Since this is just a tutorial, you wouldn't know that, of course. Yeah. Um, what you do know is that he has copped so many Stick and Shock bullets at point blank range that it probably killed him. Okay. Um, and I was trying to Google this other option I have, but it couldn't give me a definitive answer. I know I can only cast spells with mana type if I'm in actually projecting. Yeah. But what I don't know is I can't cast heal in the astral plane and affect something in the physical plane. No, I cannot no. cast any spell from the astral plane on a physical person. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um... For starters, I think the range might be touched. Hmm. Yeah, but wouldn't I have like a yeah. hundred meters you, you in affect, astral projection? Cannot affect physical people. Yeah, from yeah. Where? So you could heal the Naga because the Naga is an awakened creature. It has a astral body all the time as well as a physical body. So you could potentially heal the Naga by touching it in the astral, but you gotcha. couldn't heal the human because he doesn't have an astral signature. Okay. Could um, two astral projecting spellcasters heal each other? Yes. They can also death touch each other. So, like, if you have the death touch ability, you can astrally project and kill mages without anyone knowing you are there. It's like you just find an astrally projecting mage, you start stabbing him, and then, like, someone's, like, healing him in the astral plane? Yeah, something like that. Or manifest death spirits, something, yeah. Okay, in, in that case, um... I'd, I guess I'd know all that information. I'd go to the main yeah. spirit, and I'd, for my last service, my, um, um, go back to our boat, and I'd tell him where it is, um, make sure there's no hostiles around the area, and if there isn't, come back to me, report, and that's it. Brilliant. And then I... That would be my turn, sure. All right. Um, the Naga is out. Fenway. And since I have communication with everyone, I know all the host like all I can't move anyway. You use all your movement? That's right. So you've got an action but no more movement. Unless you but you can spend your action sprinting to get a little bit more movement. Might as well. Alright. Uh Tim, you know the sprinting rules, right? Yep. So make a running check. Don't have running. So make a strength check at minus one. I move four. So your base running speed is your agility times four. Add four meters to it. Oh, so I, can, I get to move the entire thing? Yeah, agility times four plus four. Okay, so 12 plus four. Yep, 16 meters. No, it doesn't get an extra 16 meters on the sprint. The sprint no, only no, gives no. the extra. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, so, uh, that's what I'm saying. I only, get the, yeah. I only get four meters now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you get the extra four. Yeah. yeah. So you've moved, oh, you moved to 16 already, have you? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's right. He's, yeah. Yeah. Second yeah. pass. Yeah, sweet. 4.2, yeah. but like, because of the squares, like you can't really get any lower. That's four meters. I can take the shorter route now that everyone else is dead. Draws his sword, tells you that he is going to kill you, and then suddenly he is just reduced with, with riddled with bullets. I, um, I glare at the drone and go, what the fuck, man? I had it under control. And then I move into the next room to check on the child. 
All right. What will that be? A medicine, a first aid check, a perception? No, 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 no. I'm not giving him first aid. I'm just... No. Like, you're just know, like looking he, down, like not good. But even just looking down, I thought maybe first aid would be the right skill to... Oh, I don't like, know. Like if you make an up. assessment. Sorry, I'll exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in yeah, that case, yeah. In that case, I still have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red stuff come out in not good. But it's All right. not a glitch. I mean, looks like he got crushed by the snake and shot by a machine gun. It's the writing's on the wall for a little boy. All right. Yakuza has nothing left. Mage Geek, we go to your final I pick, action. I pick, I pick him up. I'm picking him up, though. To... Oh, okay. In that case, that will require an athletics check because he's wrapped up in snake flesh. Yep. Snake's unconscious, but it's still 400 kilos. Uh, what is it? Gymnat gymnastics up running. What's the other one? Athletics? Is there not an athletics uh, skill? No, athletics is a group, and the group covers... Lifting? You want to just make a strength check? Um, surely that there's a heavy lifting thing. Otherwise, I guess, yes, yeah, just strength times yeah, two. Lift, if you lifting, else. Lifting's generally just your strength, I think. All right, so strength times two, because I'm pretty sure that's always times two. Yeah, real brilliant. Uh, you would have yeah. been able to lift hundreds of kilos with that. And, um, yeah. and lift and carry is actually a, uh, it's a pre-calculated thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's like body oh. plus strength, and it's like there's a scale for how many kilograms you can lift and how many you can carry. Oh, okay. But sure, is there not some way to exert more strength to lift something that you shouldn't normally be able to lift? Or is well, it just see, the lift and carry would be more to do with like how much gear you can lug. So I'm, I'm happy to make a strength check to like, you know, maneuver, manipulate Rip open a door. And... Yeah, exactly. In this case, yeah. Like, uh, surely there's a way to exceed your. A normal capacity in a role playing sense, yeah, you know. I don't know. It'd be like a strength and body check against the door's barrier rating or something like that. Or maybe just strength times two, um, perhaps. Anyway, in any case, you lift the, um, the the child out from his bindings. You hold his broken little form in your arms, and to be honest, he doesn't actually look that bad. Um, yeah, it's um, it could be worse. Oh, he's taken one or two rounds of some machine gun fire. Machine yeah. Gun, machine gun fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's um the little the little fella might be gone. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like he's you know bent and broken and crippled. No, he. Hey, hey Fenway. Yeah, anyway. you you've got the um thing for getting the snake out, haven't you? Oh um, yes, I have. The the spirit is at my command. Uh, Should I not heal our ally first? Uh, well, I mean, if it's a spirit doing the thing, he can do that while you're healing. Well, let's finish the round first. So, Mage Geek, you've got one pass left, and that'll be the end of this round. Uh, Godfather will uh, go ahead and jack out of uh, Mage Geeker. All but, right, uh, brilliant. We're man and hot sim. Okay, awesome. Um, then you get a you would immediately get the body mon via monitor condition, and that will tell you that um, Andre is critical. What was that? Uh, your bio monitor will register Andre as critically injured. Okay, uh... so we're out of initiative, I guess. I don't really see the need to roll initiative again now. These guys who are out are going to be out for a while. Um, if you if you need multiple passes, then maybe, but I don't think multiple passes are really going to help either. Um, what, does anyone disagree with that? That sex bot never tried anything? The sex bot never tried anything, no. Oh, I thought for sure she may have had <laughs> I thought... No, it's just... Because casting a spell is a complex action, isn't it? Ordinary sex part, so that they can fuck it. <laughs> some some titty machine guns. <laughs> titty machine All guns. Right, we are officially okay. taking we are officially taking the sex spot as legal. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like, a, she looks I'll, like I'll, a young Dolly Parton. I'll take the one step forward <laughs> and I'll cast a spell. Uh, yep, 
So what force are so you casting once your heal spell kind of... I think six. Yep. And I'll All use right. edge. Just a quick FYI, Armin has returned to his body at this point. Two success. Really? <laughs> I am I am good wizard. Are you? I used doing Edge as well. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> that's a lot of dice. He is doing it right. Okay. Right. How, how many dice was that? That's a lot. Wait a minute. I forgot. It's, uh, it's a healing spell, isn't it? I have... Uh... Yeah, I have a plus two dice to that. Alright, so chuck those in manually. Get hit. Four and a three, I'm calling it. Three! Yeah. Oh, you got exploding hang on, hang sticks. On. Just roll it again. Six, so roll it again, yeah. Oh, it's just one? Yeah, it's just one and another 1d6. Oh, oh, keep man. going, man! Keep going, keep going. you're exploding! Another one. Nah. All right. All right. So That's four successes. So you can divide yeah. those successes between healing damage or reducing the duration you need to sustain it for. I recommend just putting it all into. Yeah, I'll just heal them. Into damage. All right. So does that mean he recovers four physical wounds? Yep. And then I need to right. resist two drain. You can do it, bud. I don't. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in me. I do, I do. I, I, I can! Okay. You're fine. Oh, you're edging it as well. No, that was accidental. I mean, I don't think it should matter too much, should it? You only proxed twice. Probably caused a couple of... There we go, I just did it again without the edge. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so Andre, it looks like that you are back in the land of the living. How do you feel? Like, I was very poorly put together. Uh, that's a little bit too close to home, isn't it? Like, maybe my creator didn't quite understand. <laughs> to uh, go handle those guys on the shore, drag them out off the beach so they won't drown at high tide, and then, like, zip tie them. No worries. I guess okay. just leave them all in the, drag them all into the structure. So I will humbly request that my beast spirit befriends the the snake. All right. Okay, so um, if, if the beast spirit has some kind of magical power, it has then you go uh, ahead and animal roll control. That. Like, I'm not sure. Perfect. Like, how how does that work? You're gonna have to check out the critter powers. Um, Just look at in the core rules. Um, I have the so for. Um... 303 and 304 uh, magic powers and 394 page is the explanation of those powers like okay. critter powers is that the one you're yeah, talking about powers. Yeah. perfect yeah yeah animal control some critters can manipulate other critters okay <laughs> The critter may control a number of small creatures. Oh, equal to its charisma. Does, is this a small crit? Oh, yeah, it'll be a small. It'll only weigh about 25 kilos at most. Um, so you need to sustain that spell for 18 seconds, by the way, Fenway. So it's not very long. Oh, the healing spell? Permanent. Yeah, and then it'll become permanent. It also has to be okay, normal cool. behavior of the animal. Also, like a flock of birds can't steal a motorbike, but they could attack someone. So it's like something they can, something they can do, I guess. I didn't understand that. Sorry. But the power lets you control the behavior of a group, but it has to be normal behavior for the target animal. Right, right. So you right. couldn't get a dog to shoot at someone with a gun. No. So yeah, what do you want you your probably... snake to do? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I'd I like the say, snake you to probably get it to. Climb into a tube. Yeah, that's that's what I want. I want it to come into the tube. All right. So the whole thing is currently enclosed, completely enclosed. Um, 
like a glass cube, basically. There doesn't appear to be any way to put your tube in the cube. But they, they feed it somehow. They must feed it somehow. So you're saying you couldn't put that long shaft into the box? There's no lid to the box. Is there water from top to bottom? Not quite. There's a couple of inches near the, t near the top, like maybe 15 centimetres at most, where there's like an air gap. But even that is sealed. The whole thing appears to be, you know, at a, at a glance at least, it looks like a cube of water, like a, like a snow globe, but it's a cube. If I, if I look into the thing, is it like an automated feeder within the, like the box? Yes, there is okay, an automated feeder, sense. yes. So how would they have gotten the snake in? Like, this That's a good the question. And also, uh, the snake, the sharks presumably eat a lot of meat each day. That would, uh, the, the, the feeder would have to be fed from somewhere. Andre goes over to the computer. Can I make a perception test to see if I can see any other... I mean, I'd also need to, you know, change, yeah. clean the water and clean the... Tank. I certainly would. All of this is logical. There'd need to be an oxygenator. Yeah, absolutely. You can make some... I'll try to bring up a... Ooh, shit. Um, it'd be some sort of computer test, Andre. So if you have computer use, logic plus computer. I got five successes, by the way. Yeah, cool. I'll, I'll I'll deal with that in a moment. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Computer plus logic, Andre. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Been there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, wasn't sure. So the pair of you, between the two of you, you ascertain exactly how this works, and the operation of it becomes a snitch, a, a simple activity. As we said, there's feeders and filters and all the things that you would need for a complex machine of this status. And um, I think I also mentioned before that when we picked, when we hacked into the computer system, we were able to monitor things like oxygen levels within the tank. Uh, Andre's gone into that master program and has basically uh, worked out how to operate it. With this, it's uh, a, a, an automated sliding glass panel that will open up. So not only will it, uh, could you, you know, clean things, but you could fit a scuba diver in there if you wanted to fit a scuba diver in there. Presumably you clean the inside of the tank or something. So yeah, you have full access to, uh, to do anything with this thing, including drain the water if you want. Reaching to open the um, Can I like drain out a foot of water and then open yes. up the panel a foot. Brilliant. You've done you've done all of that. The panel is now open. There's about a 40 centimeter, which is about one and a half feet of clearance between the roof and um, and the open glass. You lower the water levels. You don't see water where the water goes, probably into some underground pump, which dumps it into the sea. Um, the water, the tank is now roughly seven eighths full. And I can, can I reach the hole that's been opened? Oh, uh, it's pretty high, but if you've got a table or something, I'm sure it wouldn't be uh, that challenging to find some way to, to, to get up to that. Uh... So if you think of the roof as being about two and a half metres, 2.1 metres, uh, that's only seven feet. Yeah, so about 10 feet tall, which is about two and a half metres. If you get some furniture, you could probably stand on it and reach the very top of the glass. I'd, I'd probably be um, able to reach that just standing on the ground. Okay, you'd probably be able to reach it standing on the ground. Uh, it is, however, still glass, and if you intend to climb it, you might break it. Yeah, that... I just got to drop this um, tube through the hole, don't I? Through the opening. Brilliant. That's all we're doing, right? I mean, hold it. Like, we need to get it out of the opening. I was going to say, I just need to attach a string to it so that we can lower it in. Yeah. Work. Pop it in, snake crawls in, and pull the rope. Yeah, that works. All right. And we'll, we'll get the panther to ensure that that happens with like the animal control. Okay, and here's where the panther's magic comes in. So you've rigged up your little um, snake trap. It's now just got to convince the snake to get in the trap. Yeah, it's like, yeah there's a little, nice little place to sleep here. All right. Spirits love going in holes. Ah, oh, sorry, snakes love going down holes. 
Oh, yes, it All well, right. So does it just do it? Like, there's no... It, 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 it there's doesn't a, call for power. Anyone, like, does it, it doesn't call for any power? Like, it, 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 I would have thought it did. Oh, yeah, they call it This page, uh... 394. It does not state it like that, Arctic. All just right. That then it's something they can do. Just that normal mundane animals uh, go inside. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Um, the snake goes into the tube. You retract the tube. And it appears that the job is done. And I'll put the bits of fish into the tube so it doesn't get hungry. All right, no worries. There's and a then I'll cut of... the top off. Perfect. Okay. Um, it looks like everything is going swimmingly, including the sharks. What next? Presumably it's only a matter of time before these guys shake off their injuries. Uh, who's the orc? In Ricochet. I will ask Ricochet to uh, take this computer uh, Stack. Yeah, I was going to do that anyway. I guess we're, so, guys, uh, we're not climbing down the cliff again now. Are you, like, you're going to bring the sub around to the beach, aren't you? Uh, either way. While that and all was that going, I... sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying, while they were all like dealing with the tank, the whole thing, I was going to stop um, <laughs> Astral. And while they were doing that, could I have made my way into the master bedroom? With... Yeah. Well? You you find Shade um, preparing to uh, jack the bot. All right. While he's doing that's that. A, that's I'm... a euphemism, guys. That's a euphemism. <laughs> anyway, sorry. No, totally. That's kind of weird. Um, the knocked out guy, um, he's the owner, I'm, I'm assuming, which is as far as I would know. Is he the politician? Yeah. Um, quick question for most people who know more about it. Mind probe to, to, to get that sort of thing. That can do thoughts, but he has to be awake for that sort of thing. I would think so, yes. Right, okay. And he's unconscious completely at the moment, so that wouldn't work. All good. I just go and have a look at that, but that's fine. Uh, All right. Is there an office here, or just the computer terminal? This. What's this? Those uh, are the toilets. It, it's a, I think that's like yeah, like a sauna, or um, or or a vertical. What do they call them? Vertical baths that the Japanese have, where yeah, it's like a shower that fills up to a meter and a half tall. All right, so uh, we've slotted the bot multiple ways. You got it. Ricochet agreed to take this uh, computer thing. Done. Oh, actually, I'm going to roll on one of my negative qualities really quick. Is there sure. a, is there an office at all here, Matt, or just the just no, just a terminal. just a terminal? Yeah, just a uh, mainframe, and I use the word generously. It's yeah, I'm just and, taking uh, the CPU basically that'll have the hard drive in it, so we can have a look at that later. Yeah, sure. It's probably or like the screen and the CPU are probably built into the same thing. It's um, like a laptop. Um, well, yeah, yeah, like a laptop, or more like a cyber deck, but yeah, same thing. Oh, is it like like an old Mac? What's it's kind of yeah. It's the equivalent of an old Mac. They're using a um a cyber deck from the fifties as their mainframe for their personal household systems. It's everything that uh, that they need, but it's but it's low tech enough to um be unfamiliar to modern hackers. Uh, All right, so Omen, you are sadistic. What are you going to yeah. do? Uh, composure test. A composure test is required to stop the enemy from inflicting some sort of pain where the character has a chance to do so without incurring danger. Uh, I mean, theoretically, they're all unconscious and won't feel any pain. So, I mean, pain would wake him up if he's just unconscious. Like, no, they no, like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Alrighty, then. If yeah. it's probably not right, then I'm not going to do it. 
he might still be doing something. I don't think you'd get any step, like, out of it because. Are you a rapist? They're, they're asleep. No, I'm not a rapist. I got dead good you can use if that's the way you want to go with it. <laughs> no, no. Does no. he have any, any valuables, like any jewelry or shit like that in his, in his bedroom? Um, that's a good question. Um, look around for it, I guess. He, he, he has a gold chain that he hangs around his own neck. He has a gold, uh, old-fashioned gold watch. Nobody wears watches anymore except for people who want to look like they were lived in the 20th century. Um, so he's got a gold watch, a gold chain, um, no sign of any creds or cred sticks or anything, but there's significant value um in other objects uh like maybe the floorboards are nice timber andre who stole the fucking carpet <laughs> um, so yeah if you want to grab his household goods they are of the highest quality yeah the finest knives uh the finest silk sheets that sort of stuff um i'll take his chain and his watch all right and then i'm hitting the kitchen because i'm sure he's probably got some real food i'm gonna grab a snack Real food. They were currently making sashimi, sushi, and uh, no, fucking uh, yeah. uh, that's real food. But anyway, yeah, but, but I, I ain't trusting that. It's probably in not, that case. Probably not ready fish, yet. Fish and lobsters and and stuff like that. Does he have like any fruit or anything that's like mangoes, fruit? bananas? Uh, I'll grab a banana. Oh, yeah. Does he have a a com on him? A com. Uh, cell phone, some sort? Uh, yeah, he has a comm link, absolutely. Yeah. Can I search through his contacts? It's a pretty much a throwaway one, but um, but you do find some, like, um, uh, simple contacts. Domino's uh, Pizza? Uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, a guy who hires boats. Um, there are a few semi-personal contacts, like maybe guys that can either get drugs or weapons or stuff like that. But, but the as you briefly scan through the communications, there's nothing intimate. Like, hi, is the delivery ready? Of course it's ready. All right, I'll send someone around to pick it up. That's sort of informal shadow business style information. But a lot of the communications are made between here and Cambodia. Siem Reap in particular um, is... Uh, seems to be the location of a lot of the traffic that he communicates with. So he's in constant contact with someone in CM Reap, Cambodia. Um, I'd um, open up my comms to... Start button. No, 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 next to that, to the right. Uh, uh, that one? Sorry, I was talking to someone else. <laughs> Not you're talking to me, because I didn't know how to start my comms. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start my comms up, and I'll, I'll ping Godfather. Um, can you... Put a bug in this. Uh, under matrix rules, I think that's actually fairly difficult to do. Even um, if you have it? Yeah, even if I get access to it, like it's difficult to stay like uh, inside something for an extended period of time without getting detected. Right, okay. Yeah, useful for sprites, but um, that, yes, that's really a dedicated hacker thing to like leave a sprite. You, you can like give yourself like admin access to the device or something, so we could log onto it remotely in the future. But then you've got to be able to find it on the net to be able to do that again, and that's yeah. fucking hard. Well, right. I only have marks on something for as long as I'm connected to it, and like if we're using the full on matrix rules, like basically any time I hack something, it's supposed to like roll initiative, and like uh, I have like yeah. Overwatch score that increases every turn, and when it maxes yeah. out, like it yeah. brings down God on your head or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, that's the real problem. problem. Like, I mean, the best you can do would be to give yourself admin rights to the device, but that's something that they can, if they notice that you've done it, they can fucking just revoke. Yeah. Like right. the phone, like the, so the phone break down. the phone. We're going to wrap this up now. So, um, um, have uh, you you've kind of looted the place? You took a bit of jewelry. You took the carpet. You took the computer. Um, anything <laughs> can else? Can hack the sex bot? You can hack the sex bot. That's right. Um, uh, she comes with a range of wigs and makeup. So if you don't like blondes, you don't have to have a blonde. Um, she also has uh, sizable tits. The tits are currently set to maximum. <laughs> but you can shrink them down if you're interested in that. Um, um, I'm going to 
drag the rest of the guards that were on the beach into the house. Just so that oh, also, high tide doesn't get them. Well, also possibly animals that may live on the island that we're unaware of. Sure. Um, and like it could be snakes, like another snakes out there. Um, and also, just if we haven't done it already, can we make sure we close the tank and refill the water so they don't immediately notice that we've been into it? Mm. Um, All right. I'll, I'll take his comp link. No worries, you take the comp link. Anything else, and we'll wrap it up. I'm I'm good. Just make sure the snake is happy, and that's about it. Snake is relatively happy for now. Okay, so everyone can say goodbye then. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming along, everyone. See you all in a week's time.